Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. This is music in the background. I didn't mean for it to do this. It's beautiful. Shalani, what's going on? Happy Friday, buddy. So welcome in everyone. I I've been I think I had some technical difficulties. There we go. We're good to go. I've had some technical difficulties right before the stream. So if I'm a little discombobulated, my I think I set my I scheduled the stream for AM, not PM. But I hope everyone finds the stream okay. It looks like everything is working all right. We got Clark Sports Cards in the house. We got the Sheriff. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful Friday. Uh, should have a fun night tonight. We have the brand new Panini Contenders. Got six autographs in each box. And we have the almost brand new. Took everyone by surprise last week. Tops Gallery 2020. Um, they tend to take everyone by surprise when Walmart does their uh, exclusive sets. So they don't do a bunch of hype around it. They just kind of one day they're there. And so now we have Tops Gallery. We've got Panini Contenders. We're going to do two different breaks tonight. One of each box and each break. Um, so I spent all week doing my Panini Contenders set guide and review. And then last night, because it was trick-or-treat night or beggar's night, as they call it in Ohio. Um, yes, I am always disc discombobulated. Um, so I was waiting for the checklist to come out, waiting, waiting, waiting. It still had DM last night. Took the kids trick-or-treating, um, which was an interesting experience that I won't get into. Um, let's just say COVID sucks for trick or treating. Uh, but by the time the, the by the time it came out, I think it was sometime after six. I checked late last night; it had been released, so I didn't actually get time to record it. And as I have learned with these, if you don't kind of get it out on the day it's released, it's not totally worth doing. However, while I wait for some people to come in. I figured what I would do is I would show you guys a quick, I will do like a quick condensed version of Panini Contenders. Um, and hold on, let me see here. Let me, I, I want to refresh one thing. Um, there we go. I don't know why this isn't working correctly. So yeah, so um I am definitely having technical difficulties on my end of the world. But um, so what I figured I would do is I would show you guys just a very quick uh, down and dirty kind of how I rated Panini Contenders this year before we get into the break. While we wait for some people to kind of show up, we got a lot of different people in the break tonight. Um, Shalani is not going out for trick or treat this year because I guess he's not. Well, I, I, I get it. There's a lot of people that did not go out. There's a lot of families that are not participating this year. And my poor kids were not very happy about that last night. However, um, so you are getting skipping. Um, you should not be getting skipping. However, we'll see. Um, so anyways, let me do this. So that way I can shut down the one thing that may be skipping. So I'm going to show you guys my... I'll do it real quick here and I'll kind of show you guys the Panini contenders. Uh, we'll go just like this. So here was my set guide and review. You guys kind of already know how I do this. Um, we'll go over some real quick set highlights on this before we get into it tonight. Just know that it is a prospect driven set, but it is totally redesigned for 2020. Um, and it is... Casey Nations in the house. Um, so anyways, it is a new format for this year. They've added basically a bunch of veterans, a bunch of rookie uh, autos and whatnot. So they've kind of, they've kind of expanded on it. So it is not just draft picks. Um, it kind of replaces what was contenders draft picks in recent years. However, Panini contenders kind of straight up did exist back in 2015 and kind of before that as well. There's going to be 160 cards in the base set features rookies and veterans. That's the base set. 
Um, the rookie ticket autos are a first for the baseball line. You, if you collect basketball and football, you will know the rookie ticket autos, but now they're doing it in baseball. We do have a 13 color parallel rainbow for the base set. And this is the first set of the year that's going to include a lot of the 2020 MLB draft picks that were selected back in June. Um, prospects that are featured, they are all featured kind of as autos and as inserts in this set, but there's a ton of those. So there's the draft pick tickets, there's the contenders and prospects, uh, they're all autos, all sorts of different um, prospects that we can get. And kind of a cool thing that they did this year is they brought back a retro 98 and 99 rookie ticket, um, which is kind of a neat set uh, or kind of a neat subset because it takes a... It takes the design from the 98 and 99 season tickets. And so those will all have autographs and there'll be rookie tic rookie tickets. You will be able to find this stuff in retail as well, but it's not out yet. And there are a vast 10 different insert sets for 2020. And probably the neatest thing about this is if you follow the international leagues um, like Japan and whatnot, there are some prospect cards of players that are not yet signed to MLB teams. And some of those prospects like Cuban defectors and whatnot, they are big time prospects that are going to sign. This is the first place that you can find some autographs from those guys. Uh, we won't go over that. Some key cards here. Um, your typical 2020 rookies are included. Um, I'll fly through some of this because I don't want to spend too much time on it. Just know that uh, Jason Dominguez is in here. Wander Franco's in here. Tons. Spencer Torkelson's going to be in here. That's the draft pick ticket autos. Uh, Zach Veen, Austin Martin. So some very big names from the 2020 draft. And you can get autos of all of those. Um, the uh, So Clark Sports. Um, who are the rookies? The rookies are going to be the same ones that you find in all of the twenty, the later 2020 products. In this product, I actually think that the big chase card is going to be Spencer Torkelson. He was the number one overall pick. Um, Austin Martin is a fantastic prospect, which was also a 2020 pick. So is Zach Veen. And there's a few others in here. Hopefully we can pull some of those tonight. Um, and then... So here's your quick parallel rundown. Now, just know with the parallels, the thing you need to know about these is, so it's all based on this draft ticket idea, which you can see in the card to the right, the Gavin Lux. Um, so if you get like a blue one or a purple one, red one, cracked ice, um, the building blocks, which is what you see to the right, that's kind of that design in the background. Um, and if you get a championship ticket, that's a one of one, which is fantastic. If you get a fame ticket, um, that's to five. Um, Tons of different inserts. We won't cover off on all of those, uh, but legendary potential season ticket. So there's some optic parallels that you can get out of here. Some up and coming, uh, which is, I think, where the Jason Dominguez lies. And then you've got the winning tickets, which is what you see over there at the right. That's a very good checklist on that uh, insert, um, on that insert set. And then, as you can see, just a ton of different autos in here, guys. You've got the contenders autos. You've got the draft pick ticket autos with a ton of different parallels. There's a draft pick ticket two line. So there's really, there's a whole bunch of different ones that you can get. And there's even optic that you can get. Sorry that this is a little bit small, but you've got the legendary contenders. Those are all going to be Hall of Famers. That's new for this year as well. Um, you've got a prospects um and that th these are going to be pretty tough to find. It's five cards, but very nice ones. Basically, your top five prospects out of the 2020 draft. Um, and then you've got prospects two, which is your top 15. So there's 10 cards in there. And then, as I mentioned before, there's the retro 1998 rookie tickets, the retro 99 rookie tickets, um, the rookie roundup which is all the 2020 rookies. There's 15 cards in there. Um, and then you've got rookie uh, ticket optic. And then there's variations on those. So there's the variation A, which has 15 cards. And then there's, this should say rookie variation B, but there's 10 cards in that one. There are dual autographs you can find in here, and those are going to be tough pulls. But man, if you can get them, they are all prospects with dual autos. Uh, very cool cards there. There's only four cards in that set. Then you've got Rookie of the Year contenders, which is going to be another rookie thing. So a big, big focus on rookies this year, which is something that hasn't existed in the past. So just know that very cool um, very cool lineup this year. A little bit of a hard set to understand. That's why I wanted to cover off on this. Um, here are... 
my teams that if you guys hit one of these tonight, look, I think the Tampa Bay Rays are the best team in this. Um, the Dodgers have a ton of rookies. Uh, solid choice. The A's are going to be a good set in here. They got a bunch of different autos. In fact, I think they've got the most autos out of anyone. I think the Detroit Tigers, because of Spencer, Spencer uh, uh, Torkelson, is going to be the most valuable in the long term. And don't sleep on the Marlins and the Cubs. So that's a little bit more about Panini contenders. Those are the teams that I would be targeting in breaks. As I look through the checklist, though, very few bad teams. There's a ton of cards for every team in this. So it's a it's a pretty solid lineup because of all the inserts. And like I said, there's a ton of autos in this stuff. We won't go into all of this. I would normally cover off um, on this in my longer set review. But as I ended up rating all of this... It actually ended up rating at a 66, which is very good, um, especially for a Panini set. And here's how it ranks to date for all of the sets that we have done. It is ranked 16th out of 54 sets. Um, so it's just out of the top 10 at 16. Our top 10 doesn't change because of this. Um, I believe that as we pull some of the 2020 uh, draft picks out of here, hopefully we get a few of those tonight. Um, and we'll have to look up some of these people, see where they were drafted. It might show us on the card. I haven't opened any of the cards yet. So Panini Contenders comes in at a 66. It is very well within the top third of all the sets we've reviewed. It is a four, uh, It's a low four-star set, um, but should be a very fun break tonight. So I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. So let's get back to the main screen here. And it looks like we've got a few more people in here. So we've got Tyler Cassidy in the house. We've got Mark Jenkins. How you doing, buddy? Mark is going to be as a new um, Patreon. He is in the break tonight. So I hope you're having a good night, Mark. I hope you have some good luck tonight. Um, and then let's see. We've got Jason um, Arcademan in here. Um, I, will, I saw that you sent me that here. In fact, let me do this for you. Uh, I'm following chat on my phone. Let me, here's my email. Um, Cause I know you had asked earlier. I saw that it's been kind of a busy night. So let's see, we've got, um, let's see. Shalani says, oh, Zach, if I get the Yankees and you get the Tigers, we can trade. Yeah. Uh, the Spencer Torkelson, because he is the number one overall pick and he was a unanimous. Um, it was not a hard choice at all to take him number one overall, but Austin Martin, who I think went fourth overall, a lot of people thought he should have gone second. He's a big one in here. Zach Veen is another big one. There's a few names. Um, uh, Ed Howard is another big name that a lot of people are talking about. So some very good. It's time to learn some of the 2020 draft pick names, and that's what Panini Contenders is going to be all about. But we should also find a bunch of rookies in this. So here who here's who's in. I don't know why my voice keeps cracking. Here's who's in break one. I've got Matt M. It just is sports. Teresa James H. Um, and apparently I spelt James's name with an N, not an M. So let's fix that real quick. And then I've got Aaron M. I've got Clark Z in the house in break number one. I've got Tyler C in break number one. Clark Sports Cards is in break number one. KC Nation and Jared P is going to be the last spot in break one. He's got a couple spots in break two. So we're going to do break one first, um, and that will be these two boxes. So we'll pull break two off of the screen for a moment. And... Um, so if you're not in break one, you will be in break two. If you bought in, uh, it, the break was actually, I had nine spots open this morning and then ended up overselling a little bit. So I, unfortunately I had to refund a few people. If you were one of those people, I want to apologize to you. I try and get most people into the breaks. Um, but I have two different orders of contenders and one of them is not due in until tomorrow. So I actually only have two boxes, so I can only do two breaks tonight. So. As we always do, we are going to roll the dice for teams. We're going to roll the dice for our breakers. So we'll roll it twice. However many times show up on the dice is how many times we will randomize the names and randomize the teams. We will randomize teams first. So we will get to it. So let's roll the dice. And we end up with a four. Nice round number. Teresa is in the house. Teresa, happy Friday. 
Uh, all right, so let's do this. Let me get this pulled up. And I'm going to shut down. Let me shut this down real fast. We don't need that anymore. So that was my five-minute overview of Panini Contenders. I hope you guys bared with me there. So um, let me get random pulled up here. We'll take this off to the side. And this is going to be break one right here. So here's all of our teams. We're going to randomize them four times. And let's get to it. One, two, three, and four. So we end up with the Red Sox on the top, the D-backs on the bottom. And this should be an interesting one when we open it up for trades. The, the, um, so there we go. There's all of our teams. The, the teams you would typically hit, you've been targeting for the last three months, not necessarily as good in Panini contenders, but keep in mind, we do have tops gallery, so it should be interesting. Um, and we're going to roll again. So our breakers, we're only going to do it two times. So let's get back over here and say, there we go. Pull up a new list. And only two times. I always like it when it's a little bit more, but two I do think makes it interesting. So there is one and two. So we're going to have Matt M on the top, and it just is sports on the bottom. And our break for break one going to end up looking like this. Let's hide this over here. We'll alphabetize our team so everyone can see. I'm going to pull chat up here. We're going to open it up for trades. Um, yeah, Mark, not a problem. You are in break two, so you're not in this break, but you will be in the next one. So we'll, that will immediately follow this first break. So here's how we ended up. We ended up with uh, the Angels going to Jared. We've got the Astros going to Clark Sports Cards. A's and Blue Jays going to Tyler C. The Braves going to KC Nation. Brewers and Cardinals going to James H. Cubbies going to Teresa. Diamondbacks going to It Just Is Sports. Dodgers going to Clark Sports Cards. Giants going to KC Nation. Indians going to James H. Mariners going to Tyler C. Marlins going to Matt M. Mets going to It Just Is Sports. Nats going to James. We've got the Orioles going to KC Nation. We've got the Padres going to It Just Is Sports. The Phillies going to Aaron M. Pirates going to Matt M. Rangers going to Clark Sports Cards. Rays going to Clark Z. Red Sox going to Matt M. Reds going to Teresa. Rockies going to Aaron. Royals going to Tyler C. Tigers going to Teresa. So she ends up with that Tiger spot. Twins going to Matt M. White Sox going to Clark Z. And the Yankees going to Matt M. So let's see. Let me get caught up on chat here. Um, Shalane is going to be right back. Um, let's see. KC, do you want to trade Royals for Braves? So KC, we've already got one trade on the table. Teresa, Yankees for Tigers. Rangers are up for trade. So we'll keep this open here for a few minutes, but I'm actually excited to open up contenders. It is a, one of the positives of the set is I really do like how they expanded everything um, to include rookies. I think it's got a little bit more appeal. Um, Lots of different rookie autos in here. The one thing that is a little bit confusing about Panini Contenders, um, it is a, it is not a very approachable base set. Like the season ticket stuff is all over the board. Um, there's going to be so many different ones. It's hard to tell the difference between like a base card and insert card because it is all based off of this ticket idea. So we're going to have to pay close attention to that tonight. Uh, but there are 18 parallels. It does guarantee one numbered parallel. Um, I believe we may get more. We'll see. Um, but you do get 18 purple parallels. Those are those are exclusive to the hobby packs. I think it's green parallels that are exclusive to the retail blasters that will be out in a few days. So let's see. Uh, we've got. We've got, let's see, so KC, Royals Braves, you in for that? Let us know. Um, Teresa, let us know if you are in for the Yankees and Tigers.
And then we've got Clark saying Dodgers for Blue Jays over to Tyler C. So Tyler, let us know if you want to trade Dodgers for the Jays. Um, or if you want to trade the Jays for the Dodgers, that is. Um, so we've got a lot of offers on the table. And the people that are being offered are being a little quiet. And then Greg, Adjustive Sports, is not able to join us tonight. I just got a message from him. Um, so if you're looking to trade with Adjustive Sports, I think he has the Padres, the Diamondbacks in this break, and the Mets. Um, unfortunately, he's not able to join us, so he will be watching later. So his teams are going to be set. And uh, let's see. So we've got a lot of people probably looking at checklists. Tyler says he is not interested in the Dodgers. Um, Dodgers have a ton of rookies all over in 2020 sets, but he is going to stamp pat with the Blue Jays. And we will, let's see, um, Teresa, let us know on that Yankees for Tigers and KC, KC Nation. I know you're there, buddy. I know you're lurking. Let us know. Royals for Braves. So it's a little it's a little soft on the trade market. So I'm gonna speed this up here just a little bit and say trades going once. Just to see if we can get people to respond. And then the other thing we can discuss this. Um hinge to the Tigers. And La Russa to the White Sox for managers. Um, La Russa is a is an interesting one because La Russa's like guy's like seventy six years old, so he's going to go manage a very young White Sox team. I don't know that it's necessarily a bad idea, just a peculiar one. Um, and then Hinch, boy, I I believe that Hinch maybe should not be allowed to coach for a while, but. Um, he's going to go coach another young team in the Padres. Um, so where is KC? KC Nation, paging KC Nation, Jesse Magical, please come to the front office. Please come to the One Cent Sports Cards front office, KC. We need you. He was just here, wasn't he? Um, I swear he was just here. I could have swore I saw him in here earlier. Yes, he was. So KC. He's probably putting cash to bed or he's out swimming in his pool because where he lives, it's probably still warm. Um, all I know is it was stinking cold last night, trick or treating. Um, I did see some very interesting. Uh, one person had a hand on the end of a 10 foot pole that would hand out candy to you. That was that was a pretty fun. It was a pretty fun way to do covid trick or treating. We had other people that were sending candy down shoots. Uh, other people that just set up tables and had bags of candy individually wrapped, so you could just take one of those. Um, so families are getting families are getting creative with how to do it. Uh, there were a few people that just said, "Here's our bucket, take some candy out of it." And I was amazed at how many people just said, "We ain't doing nothing." Um, and and that you know, unfortunately for the kids who don't understand, you know, my kids are five and eight. Um, and they kind of understand everything that's going on. But when you were a kid, it was like, yeah, on Halloween, man, that that outside of Christmas, it's like the biggest holiday of the year. And unfortunately, in the COVID in the COVID world, it's it's unfortunate that the kids are going like, hey, how come all the houses aren't giving us candy this year? Um, and they don't really get it. But at the end of the day, hey, the dentists, I'm sure, love it. So let's see, KC Nation, here are the teams that you got. You have the Orioles, you have the Giants, you have the Braves, and you have a ton, ton, a ton, a ton of offers on the table. Um, one of them is Red Sox for Braves. And, oh, so he's in Target, okay. Um, and then the other one is, what was the other one? There was another one in here. Uh, Royals for Braves. 
KC Nation's looking for two purple boxes. So KC, you've got. We're going to, and I'm going to say trades going twice, because I don't want to stare at spreadsheets all night. Um, Royals for Braves. So if you KC, if you want the Royals, you can have the Braves. Uh, Oakland Blue Jays and Mariners are available as well. Uh, no, go on the no, go on the Giants. Dun, 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 dun. No, go on the Giants. No, those are the teams you have. Royals for Braves. Okay, we can do that trade. I knew you would want the Royals. Okay, so Tyler, moving out of that Royal spot, moving in to the Brave spot. KC Nation, moving out of the Brave spot, moving in to his favorite team, Royal spot. All right, so that trade's going through, and I'm going to say trades are closed. All right, KC, we got you in. I think you're off shopping right now. Um, Brian, I believe you are in the next one. Let me just check here real quick. So if you were not in the first one, yeah, Brian, you are in the break two. Here's break two. It just if you are wondering if you are in break one or break two, here's who's in break two. Jared, James, C. Mike Smith, Mark, Nick, Rebel, Jeff P., Zach's Car Breaks, Brian F., Shalani, Captain John, uh, Terry B, uh, we've got KC Nation in break two. Uh, I've got ter- uh, Teresa in there as well, and Isaac Flores. So that's who's in break two. So let's get back. Let's get to breaking, guys. Um, let's do that. All right, let me get break one pulled back up here. Let me get chat pulled up back up here. And, um, well, KC Nation, you already have the Orioles. That's what happened. They were randomized to you. But by the way, the Orioles have Adley Rutschman in the Panini Contender set. So you say you don't want the Orioles, but trust me, you might want the Orioles. Um, it is not, if it, again, we've got draft picks and prospects this time, guys. Okay, so before we get started, we're going to do gallery first. Um, but before we get started, I do want to say thank you for all of you um, that got in to break one and to break two. Um, like I always say, I say it every week, I went in, look tonight, there's a bunch of people streaming. So the fact that we've got people in here watching me, it is always humbling and it, I'm, I'm always appreciative of it. So I hope we can pull some good fire. I've been on a little bit of a good run, so hopefully we can keep that running tonight. I think uh, the month of October has been good for the breaks. Um, we've pulled some great cards all month. So we've got one more to do this month that, and it will happen right now. So thank you for everyone that got into the break. I wish you all good luck on the break. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to pull the contenders off to the side over here. We're going to do Tops Gallery first. So let's see what we can get into with Gallery. Now, Gallery's got 100 cards. I believe there's like 20 packs in here. Um, so tons of fun ripping. Uh, retail Walmart exclusive. Um, it's sold out pretty quick. I actually don't think you can get these anymore. You do get a box topper. So we'll open that. Um, and there are two guaranteed autos. Uh, the parallels this year are a little bit more scarce, I think, than they were last year. But it's a very similar setup to last year. Um, you've got the masterpieces. You've got the impressionist inserts. Um, so it's a fun, fun set to get into. There's our box. We're empty. Um, so it's a fun, fun set to get into. And it's always kind of neat to see some of the some of the artist renditions. Because um, some of them are great. Some of them are not so great, which is always kind of fun. Uh, we'll have Marilyn and we'll have Marilyn and Mike Trout hold up the box topper. I'm a little worried about this down here and that it's a little bent up down there. Isaac Flores, what's going on, buddy? Happy Friday. You were in break two. So we're doing break one right now. We just got into it. So let's see. Here we go. Pack number one. And we will start out with a rookie card for the Cubs. A Robel Garcia. Let's see how well these show up on screen. Not too bad. Not too bad. 
So Robel Garcia, nice rookie card there. So we're going to get started, and immediately we're getting into some sleeving. We've got a beautiful Juan Soto. And we have the Rainbow Parallel, Rainbow Foil, Jacob deGrom. That's going out to the Mets. That's a just is sports. And we have our first auto right off the back. You've got to be kidding me. And it's a rookie auto. So nice one there. And it is going to the Indians, James Karinchik. Karinchak, as I think how they actually say it. He's got a tiny little auto. Big old sticker that they gave him. And he said, here, let me see how small I can sign this. And they... But And this is going out to our Indians owner. That is going to James H. So we pull our first auto of the night right out of the first pack. It's going to be the first top loader we get into. So we've got James Karinchak as our first auto, rookie auto. And we got something on my... I, I swear, it's weird how, how fast the mats get dirty. So we've got a James Karinchak as our first auto. So a nice first pack here uh, with Nolan Arenado as well. So we ended up with the Juan Soto, the Robel Garcia, Jacob deGrom. Let's get into pack two. Um, 40 bucks for the purple box. What purple box are we talking about? Um, oh, we're talking about the complete sets. Okay, so here we go. We've got a Tommy Edmond. Little bit of a weird artist rendition there. You can tell it's kind of sketched. We can get sketch cards out of here, actually, which is pretty cool. We've got a Ryan McMahon, a Mauricio Dubon rookie card. And that is a rainbow foil parallel as well. So that is going to our Giants owner, KC Nation. So nice Mauricio Dubon. And we have our second auto already. So we've got 18 packs to go. None are going to have autos. So we're going to be maybe flying through this a little bit. But our second auto is going to be Adam Hazley. And this is going to our Phillies owner, Aaron M. So Aaron hits the second auto, and it was in our very first two packs. It kind of snuck up on me. But we've got a ton of autos to get to tonight, so the fact that we've got two right off the bat, not going not to not gonna phase me at all. Uh, let's do this, because I want more room for a card garden. So let's, and we're, our card garden's getting built here pretty quick. Our last card in the pack a Garrett Cole. Okay, so Robert Insert should pay for the box. Gallery, gallery, um, gallery, I, I always love gallery because I like to see how the artists look at stuff. The artists are pretty, uh, most of them are pretty good this year. There were a few stinkers last year, that's for sure. There's a Yoshi Satsugo. Got a little bit of national attention for himself in the World Series, which congratulations to the Dodgers. There's an Alex Young for the Diamondbacks. And we have a nice private issue for Hinjin Ryu on the Blue Jays. So a very nice one there. So a Ryu private issue. I think you get one, maybe two of these a box. So it's a little bit of a parallel stamped with the private issue. That is going to Tyler C. Tyler, congratulations on that one. And our next card is our first Luis Robert. And this is the Heritage. It's a very nice Robert right there. I like that one. That's going to our White Sox, Clark Z. So we've got Robert, Robert, Robert. So I got to say all three ways just to make sure that I say his name right. But Lewis Robert for the White Sox. Nice one there. Hazley is a blue parallel. Oh, it is a blue parallel. I didn't even notice that. Hold on. The Adam Hazley. Oh, how did I miss that? Is numbered 34 out of 50. I did not even catch that it was a blue parallel. I don't know how I did not catch that. So our auto, our second auto, the Hazley for the Phillies is going to be 34 out of 50. It is a blue parallel. Very nice hit there for Aaron. And our next card is a Gavin Lux. 
So we're going to have to keep an eye out for those parallels. I skipped right by that one. I think it's because it came up on me so fast. The two autos just right off the bat there. So we get Gavin Lux. So Gavin obviously going to get a top loader. So we'll put Gavin back here. And the card garden, I mean, what are we, three packs in? We've already got a bunch of top-loaded cards, so we'll see. This box is starting out pretty nice. Um, all right, here we go. We've got Carter uh, Keyboom, Salvi Perez, Keston Hira, and a Masters and Apprentice. This is going to be Pete Alonzo and Jacob deGrom. A little bit of an odd Masters and Apprentice. One's a one's a hitter and one's a pitcher. So a little little odd. Normally it's like a big time veteran, but I get it. Degrom is a veteran, so a nice Masters and Apprentice card there. Uh, the private issue is not numbered. Oh wait, no, it is numbered. One forty nine out of two fifty. I didn't think, last year they weren't numbered. So we do have the Hin Hinjin Ryu out of 250. And look at, you guys know more about Gallery than I do already. Um, all right, and then we've got Jordan Montgomery for the Yankees. Normally I know, I, I should have known that was numbered. Now I'm mad at myself. Now, now I've got to start paying attention. Okay, so here we go. We've got the cover card, the Pete Alonzo. A Matt Olson, a Daniel Me uh, Megden, and a modern artist, Mike Trout. Look at that card. That is going out to our Angels owner, Jared. The modern artist cards are sweet, sweet cards. So a beautiful Mike Trout modern artist with the bat on fire. Jared, nice hit. I like that card. I have not seen that card yet. So there we go. We've got the Mike Trout. Beautiful. I love that card's awesome. Well, I'm going to stare at that card a little bit more. Okay, so the card garden continues to grow. Let's do this. Mike Trout's going right in the middle. Okay, we've got JT Real Muto. And our next pack, were they numbered last year? I don't know. It was 12 months ago. That was 12 months in a pandemic. That, that was pre-pandemic. I don't remember anything pre-pandemic anymore. Um, all right. And for our Padres, a Fernando Tatis. Nice looking card there. So we've got Tatis. And we've got Kyle Tucker. And a Sam Hilliard rookie card, and that is going to be a rainbow foil as well for the Rockies. So that is going to Aaron. And we have a Masters, which is going to be a high number. We've got Sam Hilliard. And the card garden is already huge. It's already huge. So we've got the Sam Hilliard back here. Let me see if I can. And here's our Ricky Henderson Masters. So this should be, I believe that these are the high number I think anything 150 through 200 is your high number. So there's a Ricky Henderson Masters. That's going out to the A's owner, Tyler C. Um, yeah, that is a – Zach, I love that you pulled out the goat. That's fantastic. So there's the Ricky Henderson. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start putting some of them over here. Okay. And then we've got Jalen Davis rookie card as well. So this box has started out really hot especially with the two autos coming out. We've already got one, Robert. We've got two Rainbow Foil rookies. And we continue on for the Tigers. We have a Jake Rogers. And we have, we're going to have some color in here. We've got a Josh Van Meter and a Shogo Akiyama. Going out to our Reds owner, our Reds owner for this break, Ms. Teresa. So there's a nice Shogo. And our Hall of Fame insert, Jeff Bagwell. This one will be numbered as well. It is numbered 121 to 250. It is the 
Gallery Hall of Fame, Jeff Bagwell. Going to the Astros, that's going to Clark Sports Card. So, Clark, nice one there. Nice Hall of Fame card. Yeah, so the high number, um, yeah, so the Masters, and then I think I think there's a few other ones you can get out of there too. But yeah, anything numbered 151 or higher is going to be high number, and then they will have that Masters like the Ricky Henderson does. Um, you can see how it's stamped Masters down here. I think they'll have other ones that are called like Apprentice. So we get a Jeff Bagwell as well. Jeff Bagwell as well. Um so let's see. Let's our card garden's out of control right now. So a beautiful Jeff Bagwell to 250 green and an Aaron Savale rookie card. So this box has been real nice, and we're only like one fourth of the way through it. So let's see. Yeah, the impressionists are the hardest ones to pull. Um, all right, so we've got Matt Boyd, and it looks like we've got more color in here. We've got Zach Collins rookie card. With the white socks, that's a cool looking card right there. So nice Zach Collins. Kind of hard to get that black on gold to show up. I got a Brian Abreu. Rookie card for the Astros. And how about another Heritage? This one is going to be, I don't think this is actually a parallel, but this is a beautiful Nico Horner. Rookie card for the Cubs. Nice one there. Cubs Gallery Heritage insert. And we will end this pack on a Martin Maldonado. All right, next pack. Yeah, so hey, this, this box has been fun so far. So here we go. Let's see what else we've got. An Adbert Alzale. The Lux Impressionist illustration is terrifying. <laughs> um, why is it terrifying, Jared? Um, I don't believe I've seen it yet. Got a Max Scherzer and an Adam Hazley. Gold foil or rainbow foil, not gold. Rainbow. By the way, the rainbows are not, they are not um, numbered. I'm in a master and apprentice, and this is going to be Jeff Bagwell and Jordan Alvarez. I believe you get four, three or four masters and apprentice per box. Um, so not, so a really fun one there. Uh, a little Jordan Alvarez action for Clark Sports Cards. And we've got Mr. Joey Votto, future Hall of Famer. All right. Continuing on, we get Patel Marte, Huang Yin Kim, rookie card for the Cardinals, and sleeve it, it's a Mike Trout. Beautiful Mike Trout there. Going to our Angels. So our Angels owner already has two Trouts in this box. And we have a Hall of Fame, Randy Johnson. Going to the Diamondbacks. Let's go into It Just Is Sports. And if we haven't had enough of them in this box, watch them show up all night. Adam Hazley again. He looks terrible and scary. <laughs> all right. Next pack. Just terrible and scary. Poor Gavin Lux. All right, Derek, uh, Derek Rodriguez, uh, Wilson Contreras, and a TJ Zuch, 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 Zeke. Rookie card for the Blue Jays, our Blue Jays owner, Tyler C. And a beautiful, that is a nice looking card there. A beautiful high number Masters, Tony Gwen, going to the Padres. That is a cool looking card right there. That is. I, re, I, I grew up watching Tony Gwynn and that is exactly, they would show that shot on TV of when he would bat and he'd have those just locked in eyes. So that's a very cool one of Tony Gwynn there. Congratulations on that one. It just is sports. Greg. 
And we have a Nico Horner rookie card. Then very nice, pulling some very nice cards out of this box. All right, next pack. We're going to get right to it. And we get Acuna, which Acuna has basically become the next coming of It Must Be Sleeved on my channel. Right? Basically, Acuna and Trout, no matter what, they're going to get a sleeve. Keep the trout. I got one in my box yesterday. All right. I If someone tells me to keep a trout, I'm keeping the trout. Thank you very much, Jared. That's awesome. We've got Blake Snell, who, boy, they shouldn't have pulled him the other day. God, you, you know, analytics in the eyeball test, we, they need to find something that matches those two up. Uh, we've got a Matt Thice rookie card for the Halos as well. And a beautiful... I do like these heritage, um, gallery heritage cards. A beautiful Christian Yelich here. Nice one there. Kind of a mix between gallery and heritage. And we've got Jordan Luplau. Luplau is a last name that I can do without. Um, all right. But it's just an odd last name. All right, here we go. We've got Paul Goldschmidt. Chris Bryant, Injun Ryu, a Masters and Apprentice, and this is going to be Don Mattingly and Aaron Judge. That's Don Mattingly with the big, that mustache is not quite right for Don Mattingly, but not a bad rendition. And hold on, I'm, for some reason, my phone is getting blown up. Oh, Zach is... Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So we'll show you guys something here real quick. Um, let me see if it opens up. Give me one second. Oh, yep. Okay, so that is the Impressionists. <laughs> that is... Yes, now I see why it is scary and terrifying. That definitely looks... That looks like... Um, that looks like Nightmare on Elm Street. That is terrible. Looks like poor Gavin Lux like got in a car fire or something. So we'll see if we pulled that one. But yeah, that is terrifying. I completely agree. Um, and our last card, we'll go to one that's not so terrifying. Thank you, uh, Sheriff, for sending that. Here's Aristides Aquino. Um, that is a rookie card going out to Teresa. And I am still sleeving Aquino cards. And our next pack is going to be some artists on the back. We can figure out a little bit about them, but we'll do Schwarber, Anthony K, and we have another private issue card. So an Anthony K rookie card, and we have another private issue, and this one is a nice one. It is going to be Keston Hira. And that is going to our Brewers owner, James H. That one's going to be numbered 156 out of 250. Kevin Kruger. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> um, I was expecting, but, uh, but yeah, no kidding. Uh, here, let's, let's go back and look at that again. So that way later on tonight, when you shut the lights off and you go to bed, you can have this in your dreams. That is one of the ugliest baseball cards I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> like that is like that is terrifying. But one, it doesn't look like it. Like, why would you do that to a man? Why? That's just that's terrible. And normally the impressionists are like awesome. Poor Gavin Lux. All right, so when you shut the lights off tonight, just think of <laughs> Gavin Kruger. All right, and we have a modern artist. This is a Biebs. It doesn't quite look like the Biebs either. Well, it kind of does. But this is a nice modern artist of what has quickly became the best pitcher in the game this year. Shane Bieber. That's going out to the Indians as well. That's going to James. <laughs> Shalane is like, no, please. Um, 
Was there any Royals in this box? Nothing big yet, but we'll see what we... We're not done with this box. We've got a Mike King rookie card. And someone, I don't know who, will get... Can learn more about the artists. Same... These are all the same artists they had last year, by the way. Um, all right, so here we go. Next pack. We've still got... One, two, three, four, five, six. We've still got six packs to go, so we're only... Three quarters of the way through this. We've got Cesar Hernandez, Marwin Gonzalez, Miggy, Moncada, and Eloy. So kind of a kind of a uh White Sox pack there. So a nice Eloy. And our next pack. There was a Salvi in here. I did, yeah, we did see that. Nothing big yet. I am was there Whit Merrifield too? Um, all right, we got Jesus Tanoco for the Rockies. And speaking of Whit Merrifield, there's Whit Merrifield and a Royal. Noah Syndergaard staring at a ball in deep thought, probably wondering if I was on a team that made the playoffs. All right, and we have a Max Muncy. This is an interesting one. Um, very cartoonish in the design. Kind of a neat Max Muncy gold foil. So nice one there going out to the Dodgers. Clark Sports Cards. Much prettier than the Gavin Kruger. And an Eric Thames for the Nats. All right, next pack. Oh, whoop, there we go. All right, here we go. Next pack. Let's see what we can get. I opened this one really weird, so we'll see what we can get out of here. Mr. Mike Talkman, Seth Brown rookie card for the A's. And we have Mr. Oh, wait, that one goes over here. Mr. Dean Dietz. Come on, give me a focus. All right. And an A-brag. Out of all the inserts, I do think this Heritage insert is my favorite. Nice A-brag for the Astros. And we have a Hunter Harvey rookie card for the Orioles. That's going to KC Nation. All right, next pack. The beautiful... Jordan Alvarez. They did a much better job with Alvarez than Gavin Kruger. I, I can't get that card out of my head right now. Um, I just keep seeing the, all, the, all, all the burns and the scars. But a nice Jordan Alvarez. Also going to Clark Sports Card. So he gets the Master and Apprentice, plus he gets the Base. So there's a nice Jordan. We'll put him in the card garden somewhere. All right, and we have George Springer, DJ Stewart, Master and Apprentice, Walker Bueller, Clayton Kershaw, World Series champions. So what did you guys all think about the World Series? Uh, good series? Were the Rays just simply overmatched? Did uh, Cash do... Did Cash get a little too creative with the analytics? Um, I thought the best team won. I kind of, you guys have been watching the channel. You guys kind of know there's a Brendan McKay that I had kind of said, I, I think it's the Dodgers to lose kind of from the very beginning. Um, but with the way that the Rays won, what was that game four? I thought I, th or maybe it was game three. Um, I thought the Rays might steal it. But then the Dodgers really locked down after that. There's a Lindor. That was an exciting series to watch. Eric Hosmer. Oh, and look at this. That is a beautiful rainbow foil. Nico Horner. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Isaac. Um, all right, so we've got Nico Horner. This is a rainbow foil. Um, and but yeah, it and then in game six, just the just the wheels. I don't want to say the wheels fell off, but just the 
the over the analytics in the game i get why they exist and i get why people why managers follow them but my gosh you had to know right there with two with blake snell was your best chance to win that game and you have to win it uh nolan ryan um all right, Dodgers are better. Rays strike out too much. Too much of their offense is reliant on home runs. Yeah, and that the Rays do strike out quite a bit. Um, all right, there's a nice Nolan Ryan. That's going to be a high number short print Masters. That's going to the Astros as well. So Clark Sports Cards having a nice little break here. So a nice Nolan. And an Albert Pujols. All right, last pack of gallery before we get to the contenders. A Rosarena was a Rosarena made a name for himself. He went from the common pile to the hottest card on the market, and in the meantime, and he, hey, look, he was a Cuban defector. Um, he's a little bit older. There's a Rizzo, and there's Bo Bichette hanging out in the last pack. Nice Bo. Um. So he was, uh, he's a, he was really good in Cuba. He's actually a really good player. He's a little bit older. So when you call him a rookie, I think he's 26 years old right now. Um, but a very, he's going to be a good player for sure. Um, hopefully, if he can keep that power going throughout the year next year, I think that's going to be the big, the big question. Uh, we've got Chris Sale. Oh, and a beautiful for the Cubbies. That's a nice one there. This is going to Teresa. A nice Ryan Sandberg Hall of Fame. Nice card there. And there we go. All right. And our last card of gallery is going to be the Yusei Kikuchi. All right. So, all right, I've got one card in here. Um, the bow card is a beautiful illustration. I agree with that. And if, the funny part is, you know, what we can judge how good or bad it is. But if you've ever tried to draw like or paint a human face or even like a hand or something as simple as that, um, it is so stinking hard. I mean, to do something like that, that takes a long time. Um, so every one of these cards, when you look at it and you go, how long did each artist have to go into making each individual card? Um, it, it really is a testament. Okay, so let's do the box loader before we do the hits, before we show the hits. So our box loader is going to be, let's open it this way. Hold on, hold on. Come on, come on, open up at the bottom here. Okay, our box loader will be, I already know who it is. It's a good one. How about Mr. Clayton Claus? Beautiful Clayton Kershaw. Kind of a TV look to it. That's a really nice card. So, um, give me one second. Where are my sleeves? I know I have them around here somewhere. What did I do with them? I always forget that it, I always forget the sleeves. Give me one second. I got to go find my sleeve for that card. I know I have it. Where is it? Well, they're all falling out of the case. All right, there we go. There it is. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I also have, if I'm not mistaken, here we go. We're going to need a couple of these tonight. I've also got the top loaders for these. So, here we go. Beautiful Clayton Kershaw going to Mr. Clark Sports Cards. And get this. See, it always says five by seven. Then it is not a five by seven top loader. That is a four by six at best. Um, let's see, this should fit in here like so. Let's do this. All right, so come on. There we go. There's the Kershaw. Nice little box loader there. So let's take a look at the hits real quick from the gallery box, and then we'll get right into 
contenders. All right, so here we go. We got a Nico Horner rainbow foil rookie card, Sam Hilliard rainbow foil rookie card, autos which showed up first in, I mean, they showed up early, a James Karinchak rookie card auto, base, a Mauricio Dubon rainbow foil rookie card, Gavin Lux base rookie card, Jordan Alvarez base rookie card, and Adam Hazley blue parallel auto numbered 34 out of 50. That one's going to our Phillies owner, Aaron M. Modern artist, Mike Trout, beautiful one there. Hinjin Ryu, uh, private gallery, that's going to be numbered 149 out of 250. The Luis Robert, Tops Gallery Heritage. Masters and Apprentice, Alonzo and DeGrom. We got a Jeff Bagwell, Green Hall of Fame. This one's also going to be numbered. This one was 121 out of 250. Ryan Sandberg Hall of Fame, Bo Bichette rookie card, Nolan Ryan short high number short print masters, masters and apprentice Bueller and Kershaw, Max Muncy rainbow foil, modern artist Shane Bieber, Keston Hira private issue, that's going to be numbered one fifty six out of two fifty, Aristides Aquino, Tony Gwen high number masters, not numbered. But a high number short print. Masters and Apprentice, Bagwell and Alvarez. And finally, a Ricky Henderson high number Masters as well. And Clayton Kershaw was the box topper. So that is just the first half of the break. Second half is going to be contenders. Let me pull this off here real quick. And we will get right into contenders. Now, contenders also actually has more cards than gallery does so we've got more cards coming right up and we'll clear this out and this will be my first packs that i've opened of this um i spent a lot of time researching this set this week it is a hard set to research so i will try and keep up but i believe so quick question uh any guesses on my final chase card for my mystery packs or anyone else if someone gets it right, I'll reveal it tonight. Okay. Um, Zach, you said it was around 200, a $200 card, right? Am I right on that or am I wrong on that? Um, so Zach is doing the mystery packs. I believe he's going to begin opening cells. If you want one of the mystery packs, go over on my Discord. If you go on discord.com and just search one cent sports cards, you should find it. Um, you may need an invite. I don't know. but. Um, but he's doing 10 packs, um, and I, isn't the big one, I believe the main chase card is going to be $200. He's going to do them for like 50 bucks a piece. Um, and if it is $200, I'm assuming, is it autoed or not autoed? That's the question. There's no way you're giving away that judge one of one. I know that. Okay, so let's see. What's the best way to open this? It looks like this opens... Like so, ooh, ooh, pretty, pretty box. Pretty packs. 175. Okay, so does anyone have any guesses? $200 card. It is Zach's card breaks. He's a Yankees fan. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to say it's an Acuna. Can't be bat down. Bat down would be more than that. I'm going to say it's an Acuna anyways. I'm going to say it's some sort of Acuna rookie card. That's what I'm going with. Okay, so Panini Contenders, away we go. Each pack should have an auto. Six autos, six packs. And in true Panini fashion, we are glued together so tight. All right, so let's see what we get. Boy, these are heavy packs too. Okay, so. Our first pack, we get a Mike Clevenger, Javi Baez, and we'll have to see. See, we're all ready. Is that purple? Is that blue? I don't think so. That's a Trevor Story, but we're going to have to check. There's a Mike Trout season ticket. You know Trouty's getting the sleeve. I will say it has some scribbles, and it is not a Yankee. So it's Okay, so it's an auto. So that probably takes Acuna out of it. 
Um, I think Astu Acuna is an interesting guess. Um, okay. Miggy Cabrera. Is it a Soto Auto? Is it a Soto Auto? I'm going Soto Auto. Jeff McNeil, Alex Bregman, season ticket, Matt Boyd. Nice Vladdy. Nice one there. Now, I wonder why some say game 20, some say game 28. Sometimes there's game 36, game 27. Not sure why it says all that, but it's supposed to be a ticket. And I get I get the idea behind it. Here's a JT Real Muto. A Joey Votto. And I think this is a... Yep, these are the purple parallels. So we've got a Joey Votto purple parallel, which I think we're going to get three of these in a pack. So this is the purple parallel. It's kind of hard to see, um, but all of the outlines here, maybe, let me see if I can get this right. I think you guys can, there you go. That kind of shows you, how, see how everything's kind of purple? Um, so we get a nice Joey Votto purple. We get a season ticket Buster Posey purple. Nice one there. And a Cabin Biggio purple going to the Blue Jays. That's going to Tyler. So three purple parallels there. And... I think we have our first auto that is backwards and it is going to be a Mick Abel. We'll have to look him up to see what team he is on, but this is a draft pick ticket. It is not numbered. So this is going to be a base auto Mick Abel. I believe Mick was a first rounder. I'm trying to remember who he went to. So this is where I, this is where this might take us a little while. Oh, gosh. There, I just pulled my phone back up, and there's Gavin Lux, the Gavin Kruger. Jesus, that thing is frightening. I never want to see that picture again. Um, Mick Abel is – I looked him up yesterday. Um, all right, so Mick Abel is a Philadelphia Philly, and I believe he was selected by the Phillies in the first round – Trying to figure out, yeah, he was 15th overall. So a 15th overall, first round pick for the Philadelphia Phillies. So that is going to Aaron as well. He picked up an auto in the first break. And we also have a legacy, Nolan Ryan for the Texas Rangers. So now we're going to get into some of the inserts here. So we've got the legacy, Nolan Ryan, which these are brand new for 2020. Um... Casey Nation says it's a Royals auto. Um, Tatis or uh, uh, Robert? Ooh, Robert's not a bad pick either. So a nice Nolan Ryan legacy there. So those are fun because those are brand new for 2020. And then we also have a winning ticket, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's another insert. So there's the winning ticket insert. Nice one there of Vladdy going to the Blue Jays. And we have a Casey Mize Future Stars insert. Beautiful one there. Casey Mize did come up. He did not pitch very well, but he's way too talented to not. I, I think they called him up just maybe a little too soon. And being that he wasn't in the minors pitching regularly, he was at like that weird thing, you know, call it COVID. But a nice future stars, Casey Mize there. And finally, we have a Jared Kalanick for the Mariners. This is the potential insert. And that one is going out to Tyler C. Um, yeah, that Lux photo is terrifying. It is. I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to end my stream just showing that, and I'm just going to let it sit there and not say a word. And that's how I'm ending it tonight, just because I think it would be hilarious. Um, okay, so here we go. Pack number two. Let's see what we can pull out of here. And in Panini fashion, geez, man, now they put more cards in here. Now they're even more hard to open. Okay, here we go. I'm already a fan of contenders. 
Brian Anderson, Matt Chapman, Chris Paddock, nice one. There's Belly, Austin Meadows, Lance Lynn, Johnny Villar, J.D. Martinez, nice Shohei, and, ooh, what is this fun one? This is going to be a numbered draft ticket, number 20 out of 149, Eloy Jimenez. And that is going to Clark Z. So Clark, nice one there. This is a blue, I believe it's going to be a blue parallel. Of course, I shut down my thing, which would have told me this. Um, but a beautiful blue number to 149, Eloy Jimenez. And that one, see how it says draft ticket? That's kind of the difference there. Okay, and then we have our purples, which is Eugenio Suarez. Now, it says we only get one number parallel per box, but I have a feeling that's not true. Um, Eugenio Suarez, we'll see, though. We'll see. That's what it says you can expect. A Mike Miner purple. It's going to the Rangers. Going to Clark. Sports cards. Then we have a Lucas Giolito purple. And our next auto is going to be a beautiful contenders auto. And this is Miguel Amaya. Amaya is a big time prospect for the Cubs. So a nice Miguel Amaya. Like that one. This is just the contenders. So this is the auto that is just contenders. So a Miguel Amaya, that is going to our Cubs owner, Teresa. So Teresa, congratulations on that one. That is a beautiful one. It is not numbered. But a Miguel Amaya, a very nice prospect for the Cubs. And he's probably about a year away from coming up. So that's uh, we should see him in 2021. Um, all right, so here we go. We've got Logan Gilbert as well. The potential insert. We've got a nice one here. A winning ticket, Juan Soto for the Nationals. That's going to James H. Does contenders have a case hit? I believe it does. I believe it is the Gold Rush. Um, which there's only like four or five cards in Gold Rush, but the Gold Rush is going to be real hard to hit. I believe that's going to be the case hit. Um, so there's a nice Juan Soto winning ticket. We have another Legacy, and this is going to be Jim Tomei. That one's going to the Indians. So Jim Tomei, that is our Indians owner, James H. as well. And for the Giants, we have a first rounder, miss a first rounder insert, and this is Mr. Patrick Bailey. So Patrick Bailey going to our Giants owner, KC Nation. Nice one there. I like that. I like the look of that card. Not numbered. Looks like it's a base. I'm learning with you guys. Um, but yeah, the gold rush, I think, is the case hit on this. It's not mentioned as a case hit, but it just kind of seems like with the way the inserts are. Um, and I would show you guys the odds on this stuff. But it is, I mean, you can't even read it. You can't even read it. And then the other thing is, even if you could read it, it just says, oh, 99 to 1. It's not like Tops where they actually give you the pack odds. It just tells you what they're numbered to. So it's basically worthless. Um, and the writing's so small, you would never be able to tell what it was anyways. Okay, here we go. Third pack, we've got Eduardo Rodriguez, Josh Hader, The Machine, Nelson Cruz, Injin Ryu, Chris Bryant, Glaber, Marco Gonzalez, Nice little Ozzy Albies there. 
Clayton Kershaw. And our purples, we've got Jorge Polanco. Come on, come on. For the Twins, we've got a DeGrom purple. And look at this, this is a brand new, what is going on, this is a fun thing. So just sitting in my penny sleeves, what in the heck, what in the heck is that? Can you guys see that? Here, I'll put her on white. You guys will be able to see it better. This is just a brand new penny sleeve. Like, it's like embedded. Something's just embedded into the penny sleeve. I don't even know what this is. It's like a flea. I don't know. Anyways, we'll, we'll use a different penny sleeve. Way to go, cardboard gold. All right, Jacob got actually that's BCW. So that's a Jacob de Grom purple. And we have a Hunter Dozier purple going to the Royals. Nice purple parallel there. And our auto for this pack is going to be Joey Cantillo, pitcher for the Padres. So that is going to, it just is sports. This one, not numbered. Hoping we can get a numbered auto out of here. Joey Cantier, pitcher. This is another contender's auto. And we have our third auto. All right, so next, a nice future stars, Alex Kirilov. That is for the Twins. So a nice prospect card there. And we have a, this is our first one we've seen of these. The legendary George Brett. Nice one. For the Royals. i to make sure that I got to check for numbers on these, I really think. And we have a sweet one here, guys. How about for our Yankees, Mr. Matt M. We've got a Jason... Dominguez winning ticket. Beautiful Dominguez card there. Nice, nice hit right there. Jason Dominguez going out to Mr. Matt M. Congratulations on that one. And we have a Nolan Arenado game day insert. It's our first one of those we saw. So that pack mixed it up a little bit. Um, in regards to the inserts and we get a nice Jason Dominguez and a Joey Cantillo auto With a few nice purple parallels as well All right, and Our next gosh man, these things are tight All right, there we go Let's see what we can get out of here Tyler Glass now John Means Sandy Alcantara, Kevin Newman, Josh Bell, Fletch, nice Juan Soto, give Soto a quick little sleeve, Frankie Lindor, Jack Flaherty, Aaron Nola, Reese Hoskins Purple, that's going to Philly. And right behind that is the other big Philly name, Bryce Harper. So a nice Bryce Harper purple parallel there. And our third purple parallel is going to be a Marcus Simeon for the A's. It's a neat looking card right there. Not numbered, it's just the purple. And our fourth auto is going to be a Bryce Elder. I'm going to have to look up Bryce. He is with the Braves. So that is going to Tyler. So he gets the Bryce Elder. Let's see. When was Bryce drafted? We can Google this real quick. Uh, B-R-Y, Bryce Elder. And it comes right up. 
And Bryce Elder is... Oh, Braves drafty who's... Understand how much... Oh, boy. Braves signed him, but it doesn't say when he was picked. I'm looking for when he was picked overall. Hold on. So... To complete their 2020, he was a fifth rounder. Uh, but I think it looks like he may have. Looks like he chose. It's saying he chose baseball second. Um, oh, apparently he golfs too. Um, yeah, he's going to do baseball because you would be stupid not to. Okay, so a Bryce Elder. So he was picked in the fifth round, which was the final round of the 2020 draft. And that one is going to Mr. Tyler C. Congratulations, Tyler. And let's see what else we have here. We have a Nick Gonzalez, first rounder like that, going to the Pirates. So we're spreading it around tonight. That's going to Matt. So nice Nick Gonzalez here. First round draft pick in 2020. Let's see on the backs of these. Does not say when they were drafted. However, I think he was seventh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we've got a game day, Shohei. So, nice one there. We haven't seen any of the rookie autos yet. We'll see if we can get one of those. Um, then we have, for the Cardinals, a Malcolm Nunez up-and-coming insert. That's the first one of those we've seen. And finally, a Brady Singer Future Stars for the Royals. So the Royals are heating up here in the last couple packs as well. And we are going to be penny sleeving a lot of cards tonight, I have a feeling. Okay, so let's get to pack number five. All right. And we'll start out with Mr. Ronald Acuna Jr. Season ticket. George Springer. Oh, wait. Acuna is going over here. George Springer. Trey Turner. Devers. Blake Snell. Donaldson. Scherzer. Whit Merrifield. Bogarts. Garrett Cole. Nice one there. And a Jose Barrios purple. So that's our first purple parallel. Our second one is going to be Jose Ramirez. Purple parallel. See how many times I say that tonight. And our third one, a very nice one. We have an Aaron Judge. Purple parallel as well. We'll give Aaron a... A little top loader here. That's going out to Matt M. as well, who ended up with the Yankees. And our fifth auto of the night is going to be a beautiful Yu Chang. And this is an insanely no low-numbered card. This is a Building Blocks parallel rookie ticket on the 1999 design. So, and it is numbered 8 out of 10. Now, this is not a card that goes to the Giants because it says San Francisco. Yu Chang is a Cleveland Indian. So, this is a nice building blocks parallel, beautiful looking card on the 1999 retro design of Yu Chang. And it is an on card auto. Numbered to 10. So a beautiful, beautiful hit for Mr. James H. Numbered 8 out of 10. Nice hit there. Congratulations on that one, James. Beautiful, beautiful. 8 out of 10. Plus, I've always liked Yu Chang's autograph. Um, we'll see if he pans out as a player. And as we continue along... We've got a Taylor Trammell potential. That's going to the Padres. I keep having to check some of these for... And another Aaron Judge. This is like an Aaron Judge pack. 
Uh, we've got an Aaron Judge winning ticket. Nice one there. The winning ticket. I do like this winning tickets design. Um, so there we go. We've got Aaron Judge. And we've got a legacy. Big Hurt Frank Thomas. And... KC Nation, I got a card coming up for you right now. First rounder, Heston Kerstad. Or is it Jerstad? Or is it Yerstad? Second, second pick overall in the 2020 draft. A lot of people think he's the best pure hitter in the draft. Um, but a beautiful, beautiful Heston going out to our Orioles owner. KC Nation. So we'll put this one up back here. So another first rounder, and we are down to our final pack. I'm kind of digging Panini contenders. And I'll bet you we get one more rookie. I'm going to bet that there's a rookie auto in here. We'll see. We'll see. It just, I feel like it's going to be set up that way. All right, here we go. Let's see. We're going to start with Shane Bieber, Charlie Blackman, Tatis. Our second Tatis card of the night. A Verlander. An Eduardo Escobar. Freddie Freeman. Elvis Andrus. Altuve. Trey Mancini. Brandon Crawford. And DJ LeMayhew. Purple? Yo, 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 Jeff, what's going on? So there's a LeMayhew purple. Probably not going to be with the Yankees next year, so we'll see what happens there. Matt Olson. Going to our A's owner, Tyler C. And a Paul Goldschmidt. Purple parallel as well. Mark says we're going to pull a Baltimore auto. We'll see. It is going to be a Daniel Cabrera. And this one is going to be a draft pick. We're going to have to look him up. Daniel Cabrera. I know he's with LSU. It is an on-card auto. Let's see what it says. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, but on the night, da, 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 da. Uh, best hitter, da, da, da. um, it's like 215, picked by San Diego in 2017 big league draft before headed. Now, but that doesn't, that's not necessarily, we got to look up Daniel Cabrera. Hold on. This is one, this is just part of it because I do not know what team he goes to, but Daniel Cabrera, Daniel Cabrera. I think he's on the Tigers, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yes, he is Tigers, and he was drafted. It does not say Detroit Tigers. He was drafted on day two. I believe he was a second-round pick. Um, second-round pick number 62 by the Detroit Tigers. So this is going to our Tigers owner, Teresa. Teresa, congratulations. on a Daniel Cabrera auto. Pick number 62, let's see. And it basically it says, uh, it's he was drafted by the Padres in 2017, uh, but in 2020 was a first team preseason All-American, uh, career 305 hitter at LSU. So he got drafted, decided he was gonna go to college, which happens quite, which is pretty common in the major leagues. Um, all right, and then we have, an up and coming for the Diamondbacks, a Kristen Robinson. And a nice one for the White Sox here, Andrew Vaughn. You got to go back to 2019 for when he was drafted. He was drafted third overall. So a future star, Andrew Vaughn, now going to be coached by Tony LaRussa, old man LaRussa with the White Sox. And Another nice one, a potential Matthew Libertore, 
Libertore. Jeff, not a problem, man. So Matthew Libertore. And our final card in the first break is Robert Passel for the Padres. It is a first rounder card. Um, I think the Padres picked middle rounds. I'm not exactly sure what pick he was. Let's see if it says, um, it's, yeah, it just says first round pick. Um, but a first round pick, Robert Hassel for the Padres to end break one. That is going to it just is sports. And that concludes our first break of the night. We will do one just like it coming up right now, right after we go over some of the hits here. Fun box. So I'm liking Panini contenders for sure. Let's see what we got here. Let me get some of these out of the way. There we go. There we go. Okay. So let's see. We'll go over some of the hits here. Um, All right, so we have a first rounder, Robert Hassel, future stars, Andrew Vaughn, winning ticket, Aaron Judge, Aaron Judge, Purple Parallel, and Nick Gonzalez, first rounder, Patrick Bailey, first rounder, Juan Soto winning ticket, Casey Mize, future stars, a Draft ticket, Eloy Jimenez, number 20 out of 149. Draft ticket parallel, a Jason Dominguez winning ticket. First rounder, Heston Kerstad. Uh, a Mick Abel, who was a first round pick. Draft pick, uh, Otto. Daniel Cabrera, Otto. The Yu Chang 1999 retro contenders design. On card auto numbered eight out of ten. So a rookie ticket auto there. It's the building blocks parallel. Nice hit there. We've got the legacy Nolan Ryan. A Joey Cantillo auto for the Padres. And finally, uh, oh wait, no, we have one more after this. The Miguel Amaya auto. Nice one there for the Cubbies. And Bryce Elder auto as well. So thank you for everyone that got into break number one. And we will get this cleaned up real quick and get right into break number two. KC Nation, did you see my comment earlier about the card I hit from one of the purple boxes? No, I did not. Um, is Bobby Witt in this product? Um, I don't think Bo uh, Bobby Witt's got to be in this, right? Well, you would no, I don't know. He's 2019. He might not be. Um, this is more about the 2020 guys. Um, so. But there are prospects. He's, he's got to be in the prospect set. All right, so now we're going to rewind it all the way back up to the top. Um, it was iffy if the girls were going to like it, but they loved it. Uh, hold on, hold on. Sorry I'm late. was doing movie night with the family. The classic, honey, we shrunk the kids. Um, I remember being, I, rem I was a kid when that came out. I was like, it, that movie was like designed for me. I never liked that movie. My sister... That was that's probably still one of her favorite movies of all time. Um, so I we do we do movie night on Saturdays with the kids um, a lot, and it's funny what they'd like. Um, I thought they would love a never ending story. They hated it. I I I still love that movie. I still randomly shout out Atreyu <laughs> from time to time because why why not especially in a pandemic where you're just like you 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 see normal life and it's the poor Atreyu horse dying in the muck <laughs> but but um they didn't like that one but then some movies where uh what was the one we watched that they loved um Oh, Teen Wolf, which by the way, Teen Wolf, don't show that to an eight-year-old. It was a little, when I was eight, I saw it, but it's not made for eight-year-olds. That's for sure. Okay, so thank you again for everyone that got into break one. I think we had a little, that's two nice boxes for sure. Um, 
Home Alone. My 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 wife won't let me watch the uh, won't let me have the kids watch Home Alone because they still believe in Santa. We are like big time Santa people, um, and they still believe in it. And until they know that Santa doesn't exist, she won't let them watch that movie. And I'm like, oh my god, like you have to let them watch that movie. Home Alone is fantastic. Um, I see. Just got by. <laughs> Oh, you can't get, uh, so Captain John, um, the new PS5, I have not bought a video game console since the Xbox one came out. Um, but my wife wants to buy a Nintendo switch. And I was like, don't do that. Just buy, just buy the new console, just buy a PS5. And I, I, I've never owned a PS5. I was always an Xbox guy, but because of the show, I want to get the PS5, but of course I can't get it. My question is this, if you do the all subscription one, you still need the console, don't you? Because I don't mind paying the monthly subscription, um, but I think you still need the console and you can't get the console anywhere. And come Christmas time, I got to have something underneath that tree. And I think I'm going to end up with a friggin' Nintendo Switch, which I don't want because I would love to play video games with my kid and have my kid hand my ass to me at the show 2021. Um, yeah, it's impossible. Um, and I'll, I, and I, I would, what I don't understand is how in 2021, why do I still need a stupid console? Just let me sign up for something and stream it all through my Wi-Fi. But I guess I don't, I, I've been out of the video game business for so long. It's just when you got two kids and they're at the ages that they're at, I just, I just, and you break baseball cards and ship baseball cards. I, I, ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, but anyways, I, I'm rambling here. Let's get to break two, guys. Um, first, let me get it pulled up here. Um, oh, it'll be on Xbox next year. Oh, well, then I'm an Xbox guy. They really lost. Ex it, they've had the exclusive rights for that for like 20 years. That's amazing. They let that go. Um, okay, so for all of you in break two, it is time. Let's get to it. We're going to roll the dice just like we did in break one. And away we go. We're going to do our teams five times. Let's get to it. All right. And what am I looking for here? I'm looking for random. Okay. Let's do this. Here's everyone that is in break two. Welcome, all of you. We got a lot of people in break two. A nice mix of people. Um. So let's do this. We're doing it five times. Let's do teams first. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we got Blue Jays on top. The Indians on the bottom. And how long are the Indians going to be called the Indians? Just curious. 2022, they have a new name. Cleveland baseball team. Um, Or... Well, they allow the Indians to keep the name because it simply is Indians. I'm not sure. They did get rid of Chief Wahoo. I know that. Um, all right. So now let's roll the dice again. And this is going to be for our breakers. And we're going to do that four times. All right. So here we go. Oh, my music's not playing. That's crazy. Here. You guys, how about some music while we do this? Oh, wait. What did I just do? I just turned on the wrong thing. There we go. Music. All right, so what are we looking for? We're looking for this. Here we go. Four times, everyone. One. Two. Three. Four. All right, we got James P. on top. Shalaney. On the bottom. Come on. And this is how this break is going to pan out for us. Hide this. Alphabetize that. Whole chat up over here. Um, I was trying to take the worst franchise and rebuild every year. I will say that I play, what is it called? It's nine innings on your phone, which is okay kind of like baseball cards and playing at the same time all right so here's who we got halo's going to captain john stroh's going to isaac 
Jared P gets the A's. James P gets the Blue Jays and the Braves. Um, let's see. Nick gets the Brewers. Brian F gets the Cardinals. Teresa gets the Cubs. C Mike Smith with the Diamondbacks. Dodgers going to Nick H. Giants going to Zach's Card Breaks. Indians going to Shalani. Mariners going to Zach's Card Breaks. Marlins going to C Mike Smith. Mets going to Isaac. Nationals going to Shalani. Orioles going to Mark J. Padres going to Shalani. Phillies going to Nick H. Pirates going to Isaac. Rangers going to KC Nation. Rays going to Rebel. Red Sox going to Terry B. First time breaker. Um, by the way, Mark J is also a first time breaker with us. So welcome both of them. Hope you guys get the beginner's luck that most people seem to get on my channel when they get into a break with us the first time. So good luck to both of you. Uh, Teresa, you get the Reds again. Rockies going to Isaac F. Royals going to Jeff P. Tigers going to Jared P. Twins going to Brian F. White Sox going to Rebel. And Terry pulls the Yankees in our last spot. So we're open for trades. Frank the Tank is in the house. Frank, how you doing, buddy? Um, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Um, I used to do this with a group of buddies. Really fun. Uh, so, we're yeah, we're still talking about the show. See, that's how good the show, that's how good of a franchise that video game is. Okay, so, Zach, you want any of my three teams for the Mariners? I knew that was coming. Um, so, Zach, you've got Giants. And Mariners, uh, let's see, Giants and Mariners. Um, so Shalani, you've got the Nats, the Padres, and the Indians. Frank the Tank just straight up says, can I buy the Padres from you? Terry, I, I am a big believer, and you can ask most of the people they've watched. The, well, a lot of the people that are in here, they watch my channel um quite regularly um which thank you very much guys um but the beginner's luck stuff is real um more often than not someone that is into a break the first time does end up hitting pretty nice cards on the channel why that is i, I don't know it, it just happens that way um but it does happen and it's pretty awesome when it does happen um i'm going to open up some top loaders while you guys dis discuss trades here um, that last break went through quite a bit, which is fantastic. Um, so let's see, by the way, if you guys are looking for card savers, the card saver one, um, cardboard gold Monday, 11 AM Eastern time. Just be on cardboardgold.com and you can get card saver ones. And they apparently are going to discount the price from what it has been in the past. So um, something to keep that in mind. I believe the following week, top loaders and everything else will be in there. Um, okay, so let's see. Lots and lots of action on the trades tonight. So, Rangers are up for trade. Braves are available. Trade Baltimore for Giants. Uh, can we buy? Let's see. Let's see if new... Uh, Casey Nation wants the Royals. But he's got the Rangers. Um so let's see if we can get in the Royals. If we can do a Royals Rangers swap. Who's got the Rangers? Uh, uh, no, who's got the Royals? I mean, uh, Jeff P's got the Royals. I think Jeff's only got one spot as well. Um, Padres for MS. Padres for M's. That's M's, not F. I was like, Miss? Um, okay, so we can do Padres. So, okay, so Shalaney. Padres for Mariners. Okay. Shalane, you down with Padres for Mariners? And then we're, we might be working a three-way. Jeff, Jeff Poland's is trying to work a three-way trade here. Uh, Teresa, who had the Reds in the first break, is wondering if anyone would like the Reds. Um, so if you like the Reds, which, by the way, the Reds have plenty of good cards in both of these boxes. Or potentially, I guess. I mean, I don't know that they're going to all be in here, but watch. Um, okay, so Padres for Mariners. Okay, so that is a confirmed trade. So Shalani pulling out of the Padres spot and going into the Mariners spot. Mr. Zach, the Sheriff. Zach, you working tonight? Just pulling into the Padres spot. There we go. 
Got that trade in. Um, Mark says he's holding for the Orioles. Uh, Jeff is out of luck on the Orioles. Uh, and then... And then, I see, Teresa was trying to say, okay, so Padres. Well, now, uh, the Padres are now with Zach's card breaks. So, Zach, are you willing to trade for the Reds for the Padres? Rangers for Royals plus a break credit in the next one cent break. Well, KC, that's the, that, that's the $100 break. No, I'm just kidding. That's... If I do a hundred dollar break, that's something's wrong. <laughs> I better be breaking a case, which by the way, it's no surprise on what I'm going to be breaking next week, guys. Um, but just know, and I'll announce it. I don't know what the price is going to be. I got to figure all that out. Uh, but, um, I am going to be doing tops update series. Um, and they will be jumbo boxes. Um, and we can do as many boxes as we want. Trust me. We can do as many as we want. We want to do one box. We can do one. We want to do two box. We can do two. One, two, three box. We can do three. One, do a case. I believe we could do a case, but I don't want to do a case. That would take me forever. Um, but yeah, so we'll have plenty of break spots for everyone. So that's going to be the next break. I, I just got to figure out how much I'm doing spots for. Um, so, but that will be the announcement next week. I think me and everyone else is going to be breaking that stuff next week. So it should be fun. Um, but what I might do, depending on if it ships, is do a big giveaway on a couple tops of rip cards as well. The new rip stuff. I, I, I don't know when they're going to ship those, but if those ship quick, that's what I'm going to do. Because um, I think it will be awesome. So. We should still have national uh, Rangers for... Um, Jeff Poland's out of luck again. Okay, I'll do it. So wait. So what are we doing here? Okay, well, K so KC is saying Rangers for Royals plus a break credit in the next one. So, so KC owes Jeff a break credit. Is that is that what we're doing here? Okay, so we're doing it. Okay, so KC Nation does get the Royals. Jeff is moving into the Rangers spot. So you guys, just please remember the break credit thing. I'm not going to remember that. So Jeff, when you get in, I probably will remember. So Jeff, when you get in, I'm going to bug. So it'll probably be equal to it's, it's going to be somewhere around 10 bucks i'm sure um i just gotta figure out i just gotta figure out how many boxes and i got hopefully i can see a checklist that's checklist really helps um okay so we've got that can you add the break credit to the list for jeff um i mean i can write it down that's not a problem um i'll probably remember only because that doesn't happen all the time so i'm gonna say casey owes jeff p Great credit. All right. So there we go. Let's put it. Let's put it right. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put it on the foghorn. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Reds for Nationals is confirmed. Okay. So Teresa is pulling out of the red spot. And is going into the national spot. Delaney pulling out of the national spot and into the red spot. All right, let's save that up. Let's see what else. Um, this dude, uh, since which page? Uh, I'll just, yeah, there you go. Um, oh, wait. So Frank the Tank. Okay, hold on. Let me figure out Frank. Can I buy the Cardinals, Brian? Brian says, sure, if it's okay. So, uh, Frank, um, let me figure this out. I, I normally would say, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we can do this. 
I need you to send me four dollars in shipping though. Um, and the only I normally I would say fine, let's just go ahead and waive it. But shipping right now has gotten really expensive. It's even increased in price because of the holiday season, um, and it's nuts. So unfortunately, I got to be a stickler on shipping. And being that I don't have you in a break tonight, um, he paid nine dollars. If you can send me four. Um, that would be helpful, but yes, we can go ahead and do that. I just need to cover shipping. Um, shipping is an absolute SOB right now. Um, it's insane how much prices have gone up. Um, and it's, it's, I, I'm surprised we haven't seen more breakers increasing shipping prices. Um, yeah, you will see it with the price increase for the holiday season. You're totally going to see it because prices across the board just went up another 50 cents. Um, and then as you start adding ounces and pounds to things, it gets even more expensive. It kind of really sucks. <laughs> so, okay. So, but let me figure out. So Frank, the tank is going to be in the Cardinal spot. So let's do this. Um, Frank, the tank is in the Cardinal spot. Oh, wait, hold on. So wait, Frank's backing out. All right, so that's sticking with Brian. Okay, now here's what I'm going to do. Um, okay, so I'm going to say uh, trade's going once. We're going to get to this. I may be interested in one of those update hobby boxes if you're doing any personals. Um, well, it's, these are going to be update jumbo hobbies. They're pretty expensive to begin with. Um, I do have some straight-up hobby boxes as I've started buying more product, I think I like doing the mix of hobby and jumbo because you get a little bit of a different pull from the cards. And I might actually do a break where we say, so. Let, but I didn't order as many hobby as I did jumbo because I like having the guaranteed autograph, um, which jumbo is the only one that guarantees that. So, um, but hobby, I think, guarantees some more parallels. So I might do one where we say jumbo plus hobby and combine them into one. That'll be kind of fun. Okay, so I'm going to say trade's going twice. And I think that's everyone we're going to get to this. Um, trades are loosed. I'm going to give it like two seconds. No, I'm not. There we go. Okay. Let's get off of this screen. Yes. Yes. Do we want music for this final break? Do we want music? keep that music rolling all right so let's get to it guys we're gonna do gallery first just like last time and again just like break one i thank you for everyone and break two that got in i do appreciate you spending some time with me this friday night um now that the baseball season's over we can just take a full dive into baseball cards which is fantastic um but I know that there's a lot of different channels that you can hang out on. So thank you for hanging out with me tonight. Um, and I hope we can pull you guys a little bit of fire, some fun cards. Um, something like last break would be nice. Um, and we'll see what we can get. So we start with gallery. We got a box topper and a bunch of packs. Now there's a fun product to open. So, being that we hit those autos so fast last time, I'm going to do a little bit of a shuffle. Um, only because I don't like... And watch, I'll shuffle these up and then we'll hit all the autos first and second again. I'll give it just a little bit of a shuffle here. That way, we don't hit two autos right off the back. That's never fun when you're the breaker. You gotta, You can't create any suspense that way. It's like, it's like starting your TV show and saying, here's a couple commercials. Um, okay, so good luck to everyone. Here we go. Peck number one. Oh, wait, I don't want chat pulled up. Where'd my chat go? Um, you're all good, Zach. All right, let's see the Lewis Auto. That'd be sick. Um, all right, here we go. Kyle Schwarber. Anthony K, rookie card. For the Blue Jays, our Blue Jays owner, James P. 
Finally found three Bowman Chrome Megas in the wild. Yes, I hear that the wild is becoming a little less wild. Uh, Cesar Hernandez and a Joey Votto heritage like that one. I got two and hit the Robert from the first box. So that's actually sweet. I may have money this weekend when I sell the Robert Chrome numbered to 50 that I just hit. So the purple box, the Chrome numbered to 50, that is nuts. Uh, I get it graded. Um, all right, and then you've got Shun Yamaguchi. Another Blue Jays hit. So Blue Jays start off fast out of the gate. Pack two. Four Bowman Megas on the way. All right, here we go. Marwin Gonzalez. Miggy Cabrera. Oh, here's a nice. Shogo Akiyama. Gold, or not gold. I keep saying gold. Uh, Rainbow Foil. Shogo. It's going to the Reds. That is going to Mr. Shalani. He starts with a Shogo. And we have our first auto. Second peg. Just mixing them up. Didn't matter. Our first auto is going to the Diamondbacks. Mr. C. Mike Smith hasn't been in a break for a while. C. Uh, C. Mike Smith, glad to have you in the break tonight. And we'll reward you with a little Alex Young rookie card auto. Nice one there for the D-backs. So there's our first auto from Gallery. Let's start this card garden a little bit more strategically this time there we go we're gonna go left to right so we get xander bogarts as well to finish that pack all right i found one of the complete sets this pack weekend so i have two complete sets but i never open them i just save them i could have great cards in there i never open them i just feel like they should be unopened um okay jesus tinico tinoco i mean going to our Rockies owner Isaac we've got Whit Merrifield Noah Syndergaard Master and Apprentice this is Ron Santo and Chris Bryant it's kind of a nice one there a nice Master and Apprentice for the Cubbies Cubbies are Teresa's cards in this break so we'll put that one here. And we have a nice Nick Solak. My favorite underrated rookie. Going to the Rangers, which is Jeff P. All right, next pack. Yeah, I I mean, I guess you could. The ones that you would open, didn't Walmart have the ones that have all the parallels? Um, I mean, those might be kind of fun to open, but... For some reason, I just like having an unopened complete set, knowing that all the cards are in there. Um, Alex Bregman, Tommy Cannell, Travis Demerit, rookie card for the Daggers. It's going to Jared. We've got Andres Munoz, and that is a rainbow foil parallel. Rookie card for the Padres. It's going to Zach. Andres Munoz, Rainbow Foil Parallel. Put him up here. And an Aaron Savale rookie card for the Indians. Indians in this break, Shalani. So Shalani's name coming out of the gate a few times early. Doing that as well with the blue and purple I have along with the 2000. The two th I, I, have, I have that 2008. The 2008 complete set is the one that begs me to open it all the time every time i see it i want to open it there's a muncie a degrom oh and look at this one this is a nice one a shane bieber private issue the biebs number 232 out of 250 that's going to shalani as well so we've got the bieber private issue gonna win the cy young without a doubt and we have a nice modern artist. Is that Javi? Yep, that's Javi. Javier Baez. Nice one there. 
for Teresa. And we'll see if you guys make me go get more top loaders. So we've got about 33 before I got to go get more. So we'll see. Nice modern artist. And we have a JT Real Muto. And here's the artist. Someone's going to get it. Someone wants that Todd. I mean, that Todd Aaron Smith. Who doesn't want that card? Todd Aaron Smith looks a lot cooler than Matt Stewart. Matt Stewart looks like he belongs in like a corporate, corporate like conference room somewhere. Todd Aaron Smith looks like he belongs in a Dick Tracy movie. And if they both had a child somehow, Josh Trout, which I believe is um, actually a relative of Mike Trout. I believe that is true. That's who comes out of these two guys. But anyways, I'm just making fun of that card. Um, <laughs> the Todd Smith is hilarious. Um, okay, continuing on. We've got Matt Chapman. Kutch. Player, hey, Solaire. Nice one there. I like how the chain's moving. Nice shadowing on that chain too. Very cool. And we have a Clayton Kershaw Artisans. This is going to be a high number. Going to our Dodgers, which is Nick. Nick shows up. Nick, you immediately hit a high number short print, Clayton Kershaw. Congratulations on that one. And we have a Jalen Davis rookie card as well. And more penny sleeves, please. One second here. All right. All right. Next pack. Had to get more penny sleeves. All right. And we've got a Mike Talkman. Well, Nick, the other good news is we just got started. I mean, we are just started. We got a Seth Brown. We didn't pull that one in break one. Um, so Seth Brown rookie card. That's going to our A's owner, Jared. All right. Dean Dietz. And a modern artist. This is good. Is that uh, Devers? Yeah, this is Devers. Modern artist Devers for our Red Sox owner, Terry. Terry's a first-time breaker, so there's first time we've called his name. So Terry gets a modern artist Devers. And a Patrick Sandoval rookie card for our Angels owner, Mr. Captain John. Next pack. We're going to get the Jordan Alvarez rookie card. That's going to Isaac. So nice Jordan. Now Jordan should be. Boy, I'd love, I'd love for him to come back in the spring, be healthy, and stay healthy for a whole season with a couple seasons under his belt. I think... We would see lots and lots of fun things if that happens. Um, all right, George Springer. So a couple Astros. And we have a Dario Ag uh, Agrizol rookie card, rainbow foil. That's going to the Tigers. It's going to Jared. So a nice rainbow foil. All of our rainbow foils keep being rookie cards, which I like. And look at this one for the Dodgers. A Jackie Robinson Masters high number short print. That one's going to Nick H as well. So Nick gets the Clayton, plus he gets the Jackie Robinson. So nice one there. Another high number. Anything numbered over 150 is going to be a nice one. But that Jackie Robinson is extra special. And we have a Lane Thomas as well. James says, pull me a bow. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see. Is the bow in here? We'll keep looking for it. DJ Stewart. Frankie Lindor. Mr. Hosmer. And our first blue parallel. This is going to be a Sheldon 
Noisy, Blue, and I believe that's going to be numbered 44 out of 50. Sheldon Noisy, so the blue parallel going to Mr. Jared P. So a nice rookie card parallel, Sheldon Noisy. Say it like Jersey, only Noisy. And say it like your friend Joy, Joy, Joy Z. And we got a Shane Bieber as well. Next pack. You can have the bow when I get a little bit. Okay, see, so look at all these demands. How do I meet all these demands? All right, Robel Garcia, rookie card. Robel. There we go. And a nice one, Soto for the Nats. And right behind that, that boy, this, this pack's kind of sweet. Uh, so there's the Juan Soto. For our Nats, that's Teresa. And right behind that is a Ronald Acuna Jr. So we get Soto and Acuna. Braves owner, James. So I got you an Acuna. See if I can get you a bow. All right, here we go. Master and Apprentice, Bagwell and Jordan. It's a nice pack right here. Soto, Acuna, Alvarez, Bagwell. And we're going to end it on a Joey Votto. So a nice Joey Votto to end it with. And our next pack. Apparently we're looking for Lewis. We're looking for Bo. Bo Lewis, Blake, we're gonna, we get a Blake, Matt Thice. Ricky card for the Halos. Rain, nice little rainbow foil for the Tigers. Jared. And for the Cardinals, a Yadir Molina Artisans high number short print. So the Molina going to Brian F. Rebel says wrong stack. Okay. Uh, all right. And we've got, oh wait, they had one more card in there. Sorry about that. We had an Adam Hazley who, that is our fourth one of him tonight. So Adam, thank you. For, thank you for joining the party, Adam, the party, Adam Hazley. We've got a Paul Goldschmidt. The Paul Goldschmidt is kind of a nice looking card. Chris Bryant. Hinjin Ryu. And a Jackie Robinson. Two Jackie Robinsons. This one is a Gallery Hall of Fame. It's a nice looking card right there. So two Jackie Robinsons. Beautiful. Insert. So we get the Masters High Number Short Print. Plus the Gallery Hall of Fame. I do like the Masters better than the Hall of Fame one. I think the art is better. Um, but we're going to put the two Jackies together. So we'll put the two Jackies like this. And then we also, for our Cubbies, Teresa, we get you a Nico Horner rookie card. And no Gavin Kruger cards yet. If I pull the Gavin Kruger, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something with the lights. If I had that card tomorrow, I'd be making a... Halloween video out of it. Um, last year I did Garbage Pail Kids. Um, I'm not doing a Halloween video this year. But we did Garbage Pail Kids last year. And if you go back a year, um, my kids and my wife did it. It I, I just started it. And it was kind of a fun video. Um, but we just opened a couple packs of Garbage Pail Kids. Hey, who said they wanted a bow? Who said it? Who said it? I believe it was James that said he wanted a bow. So James, you wanted it now. Now Selene's being a little bit more demanding. He wants a Kyle Lewis auto. It's a little bit harder to pull, but here is the Bobachet for James. So a nice bow. Get on the bow train. And we also have a Chris Sale, a Freddie Freeman Heritage Gallery. Boy, did Freeman have a postseason or what? Freeman was an absolute monster in the postseason. 
And it's weird how he's the hobby love. There's an Elvis Andrus. The hobby love. I mean, I more and more people have caught on to him, but man, for so long his cards were so undervalued. Um, probably not that way anymore. Okay, Yoshi Sugo. James, you are welcome. Okay, okay, it was getting bad there. <laughs> um, okay, so hold on. Totally forgot the Orioles. Um, is it skipping frames for anyone else? I am not showing. Hold on, let me see. Maybe if I shut the music down. I'll shut the music off. I am not showing any skip frames on my end. Hold on. Hold on. Let me do this. Let me do this. It might be the music. That might help it. That might help it. Sometimes playing music and putting load on your computer. Hopefully that helps a little bit, guys. But I think... Okay. There we go. Yoshi. The weird part is, is on my end, it is not... Streamlabs is not saying I'm skipping frames at all. Okay, Alex Young. That's a rookie card. For the Diamondbacks. It's going to see Mike Smith. And for the Reds, a Josh Van Meter rainbow foil. It's going to Shalani. Nice one. And how about this one? A master, an apprentice, Frank Thomas, Luis Robert. That one going to Rebel. So Rebel gets a Frank Thomas, Luis Robert, nice one there. James, what's going on? Thanks for coming into the stream and hanging out. Just in time to see the Master and Apprentice sweet card. With Frank Thomas on it, no less. That's a cool card. Uh, Matt Kemp. So we got that one going to Rebel. We, did, we have not pulled the base Robert out of these two boxes yet. So let's see if we can get that one. We got to get Kyle Lewis too for Shalani. Okay, here we go. Salvi Perez, Keston Hira, Pete Alonzo. Oh, and for the Yankees, how about a high number short print? Masters, Babe Ruth, the Big Bambino. I have a better deal for you if you're interested. Take back the break credit, and I'll just give you the Orioles card from the first break. I have, um, I have no idea what we're talking about there. Okay, Babe Ruth, Masters high number short print card number one seventy three. That is going to first time breaker Terry. Terry, congratulations! Very nice Babe Ruth there. So we've got the Babe. We've got Byron Buxton. Still looking for our second auto, I believe. We've got one, two, three, about five packs left. Okay, so wait, KC Nation, uh, better do, uh, take back the break credit, and I'll give you the Orioles cards from the first break. All right, all right, so if we're doing that, so this comes off, and now, okay, timeout, 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 everyone. KC Nation's wheeling and dealing with Jeff. Okay, so I'm going to take KC Nation, and I'm just I'm going to switch this up right now. I'm making that happen. Jeff P. Dave. All right, so KC Nation, I have moved you out of that Orioles spot. So all those Orioles cards are going to Jeff P., but you don't owe a break credit anymore. Okay, here we go. Tommy Edmond. Ryan McMahon. Key Boom. Ricky Henderson Hall of Fame. Nice one there. Go to the A's. It's going to Jared. And we've got Mr. Aaron Judge. All right. I'll talk to Dustin about it later. Uh, Casey, I've already got it figured out for you. I'm giving all of the Orioles from break one to Jeff. All right, here we go. Let's see some parallels or something. All right, here we go. Nick Birdie. James Karinchek. Rookie card for the Indians. Framber Valdez. Oh, and hey, if you ask for a bow, 
You might as well ask for two. This is a sweet one. This is the Bow Heritage. So we've got a Heritage Gal uh, Tops Gallery Heritage Bow Bichette rookie card. I do like that card. All right, so we'll put that one with the other bow. And then we've got Martin Maldonado. And we're going to continue on. There he is. There's Mr. Zach Gallon. Zach Gallon for the D backs. That's going to C Mike. I like the Zach Gallon cards. There's another one of those underrated rookies, but dude is good. Uh, Junior Fernandez. Rookie card. Man, we're getting a lot of rookie cards out of this box. All right, and then we also have a Zach Collins. And that is a rookie card rainbow foil parallel. That's going to the White Sox, so that is going to Rebel. So nice Zach Collins rainbow foil rookie card. Beautiful one there. And we have our second auto, and it is going to be Aaron Savale. Rookie card auto for the Indians going to Shalaney. So Shalaney pulls down the second auto in the gallery box. And it is Mr. Savale for the Indians. All right, so let's get Savale in here. Been a pretty nice box as well. And. For our Dodgers, Mr. Nick H., how about a Gavin Lux rookie card? So we get the Gavin Lux rookie card as well. And we've still got, is that two or three packs? Still got two packs to go. So there's the Gavin Lux, and we're quickly building up card garden. All right, next pack. Okay, yeah, where is the Lewis? We have not hit the Lewis yet. Raphael Devers, Corey Klubes, Trevor Bauer, Paul Goldschmidt, Heritage. It's going to the Cardinals. It's going to Brian. And we have Mr. Garrett Cole. All right. Okay, I'm going to call it right now. I'm going to say Kyle Lewis is the top loader. I have no idea if he is or not. I'm just going to call it and say Kyle Lewis is going to be the top loader. Watch. Watch. It's going to happen. It won't. It'll be someone else. But anyways, Chris, uh, Christian Walker, Sam Hilliard rookie card. And, oh, come on. Don't be like that. All right. We have Mauricio Dubon rookie card. Come on. Boy, these are, these penny sleeves are being a little, a little sticky. All right, here we go. DeGrom and Alonzo, Master and Apprentice. Really sticky. I, I feel like every one of these cards I am sleeving. Um, and the Jordan Montgomery for the Yankees. Okay, so now we have our top loader. I said it was going to be a Kyle Lewis. We'll see any personals on those galleries for sale. Um Right now, I do not, I have, I, I actually got another order in before they sold out, but they, I think they get here tomorrow. So I do not have them right now, um, unfortunately, but I'll let you know if I do have some that I can do. Okay, so I'm going to, I said this was going to be a Kyle Lewis. The chances of it being a Kyle Lewis are so slim and none, but we'll see. Um, you cannot see through these either. I just, I just called it. It's not going to be, but we'll see. Oh, it's going to be a Don Mattingly for the Yankees. That is going to Terry as well. So Terry pulls down a very nice Don Mattingly box topper. Sweet one there. That's a cool looking Mattingly. Did a good job on that one. I like how it's got Mattingly and it's his bat is signed by Mattingly. So cool box topper there. Let me grab a 
Let me grab a. Give me one second. Come on. There we go. We have a little 5x7 top loader. We'll get the Mattingly in there for first time breaker Terry. Now we need to hit some stuff for Mark as well. Because he is a breaking with us for the first time. Come on. Come on. There we go. So there's the Don Mattingly. Very nice little box here. So check this out. Um, before we get into the Panini Contenders part of the break, um, we will show you the hits from this box. Pretty nice box, really. Um, all right, so here we go. We got a Zach Collins Rainbow Foil Rookie Card. Yadir Molina High Number Artisans Short Print. Masters and Apprentice Jordan and Jeff Bagwell. Dario Agrizal Rainbow Foil Rookie Card. The Devers Modern Artists. The Clayton Kershaw Artisans High Number Short Print. Modern Artist Javier Baez. Chris Bryant Ron Santo Masters and Apprentice. Andres Munoz Rainbow Foil. Shogo Akiyama, Rainbow Foil. Luis Robert, Frank Thomas, Master and Apprentice. Babe Ruth, love this one. The high number short print, Babe Ruth Masters. Gavin Lux, Rookie Card. Jackie Robinson, Hall of Fame, Gallery Hall of Fame. Jackie Robinson, short high number short print, Masters. The Bo Bichette, Gallery Heritage. The Bo Bichette Base. Then we had the Aaron Savale, Rookie Card Auto. The Alex Young rookie card auto. Sheldon Noisy blue short print numbered 44 out of 50. A Shane Bieber gallery private issue numbered 232 out of 250. And a Jordan Alvarez topped off with our Dom Mattingly box topper. So a very nice, very nice gallery box to start off break two. And we'll get into contenders right now. Um, I was going to offer the Chrome Robert for you uh, for one contenders box. Um, notice that it was a gold Chrome. I was going to offer the Chrome Robert for you for one and a contenders box. Yeah. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I can't do it. Um, and so let's do this. Let's do it's contenders ten. Let's see what we can pull out of this box. I for some reason sometimes I have a feeling about boxes. And I don't know why. So yeah, see, so the ultra rare gold rush insert. This is why I think it's the case hit. I forget, who asked that earlier if there was a case hit? Um so the gold rush insert is a hard one. If you find that, it, it, it's a really nice one. But sometimes I have a feeling about boxes, and I don't know why. But more often than not, I'm kind of right. I mean, sometimes I'm wrong, but I have a feeling we're going to find something kind of sweet in here. Um, so we'll see. So good luck, everyone. All right, here we go. Pack number one. And now that I know that the autos are kind of in the middle, I kind of liked how I did it last time. Um, all right, here we go. Let's get to it. Do it to it. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Hunter Dozier, DJ LeMayhew, Matt Olson, Paul Goldschmidt, Joey Vado, Jorge Soler, Eloy Jimenez, Joan Moncada, Yadir Molina. Patel Marte, and here's our purples. We've got a Kansas City Jorge Soler purple. We've got an Eloy Jimenez purple. Going to Rebel. And we've got a Yoan Moncada purple. 
There we go. And our first auto is going to be. Oh, number two out of 99, a blue draft ticket parallel of Garrett Crochet. Now, Garrett Crochet, you say, well, let's find out. Let's find out who this is going to. Who did Crochet? He was on Tex uh he was on Tennessee. Um let's get it. Let let's get to Google. So, someone probably knows this. I know the name. I forget who he got drafted to. Um it is Garrett. Crochet and Garrett Crochet is 11th overall to the White Sox. So this is going to Mr. Rebel. Rebel, nice hit there. On card auto, number two out of 99, Garrett Crochet. Nice hit. Nice, nice hit right there. Um, I believe. He is rated um, one of the best, like, major league ready arms um, that came out of the draft. So a real nice hit there. Plus two out of 99, nice low number. And then we also get a Tariq Skubal who came up, had some impressive showings in the majors here in 2020. So nice one there for the Tigers. That's going to Jared. And we have a future star, Bobby Dahlbeck, for the Red Sox. Going to Terry as well. And it's a Rebel Pack, guys. There is a Luis Robert potential insert. So a nice Robert there. Also going to Rebel. So Rebel's starting to clean up. Nice Luis Robert. And we have for the Mets, I believe this is the Mets, a first rounder, Pete Crow Armstrong. I believe it is the Mets. Uh, I got to double check that though. Pete Crow. Pete Crow. Let's, let's do it. Yeah, Pete Crow was, uh, yeah, it is the Mets. He was 19th overall. So there we go. A Mets 19th first, 19th pick overall for the Mets. I got a little confused by all the blue and the white and the black. Um, so there we go. A Pete Crow Armstrong for the Mets. Our Mets owner tonight, Mr. Isaac Flores. Not a Lou Bob, but I'll take it. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Next pack. I do like these contenders packs. These contender packs would be fun to just sell as like, hey, there's six packs in here and you just kind of sell them by the pack. Because um, each pack kind of is, kind of is like its own little break. It's kind of neat. All right, here we go. Tyler Glass now. John Means. Alcantara. Kevin Newman. Josh Bell, Lindor, Jake Flaherty, Aaron Nola, Josh Donaldson, and what do we have here? A Max Scherzer, and this is another numbered card. This is going to be, I believe this is the red parallel. It is numbered 35. I don't know if we can get it on there. Can we get it on there? Come on. Yeah. 35. Out of 99. It is really hard to get on there, but it's right down here. 35 out of 99, red parallel, Max Scherzer going to the Nat. So this is going to Teresa. Nice hit there, Teresa. Beautiful one. All right. And we're going to get into our purple parallels here. From Scherzer to 99, we've already got two to 99s numbered. So here we go. A Whit Merrifield purple. That's going to KC. A Xander Bogart's purple. That one will be going to Terry. And we have a Garrett Cole 
purple as well going to Terry. So one per box. Uh, one per the potential. The potential? The potential? Or the draft ticket? I don't know. All right, and our auto is going to be an Anthony K rookie ticket auto for the Blue Jays. That is going to James P. Not quite the Blue Jay we're looking for there, but it's nonetheless, a nice Anthony K auto. So there's our auto out of this pack. And now we'll get into some more inserts, first rounders, and all that. We've got an Emerson Hancock going to the Mariners. First rounder. I do like these first rounder cards. These are nice. Nice clean design on them. So an Emerson Hancock there. We've got a Glaber Torres game day. For the Yanks, obviously. And for the Pirates, we've got a G1 Bay. I do not know anything about G1 Bay. Who knows anything about G1 Bay? Um, but this is going to our Pirates. Nonetheless, this is going to Mr. Isaac Flores. Nice up-and-coming card there. And we got rid of his emoji. But there he is. What we must be pulling prospects there is mr joey bart future star for the giants that's going to zach's card break zach sorry we don't have the emoji anymore for joey bart but if we're pulling prospects it's without a doubt i'm going to get a joey bart and you watch in 2021 when all his rookie cards come out we're going to do we're going to do nothing but pull joey bart rookie cards it's going to be great it's going to be awesome um all right, here we go. Pack number three. Let's do it to it. Man, these are so hard to open. Um, all right, Bay had some great stats in the minors. Yeah, this one thing I don't like about these cards, is they don't show a lot of the stats. Um, not a ton of stats on here. Okay, so here we go. Buster Posey, Kevin Biggio, Reese Hoskins, Mr. Bryce Harper. Marcus Simeon, Charlie Morton, Luis Castillo, Manny Machado, Anthony Rendon, Yelly, Purple Yadir Molina for the Cardinals. That's going to Brian. And a Cattell Marte Purple for the Diamondbacks. That's C. Mike Smith. And a Charlie Morton purple for the Rays, which is also Rebel. All right, and our auto for this pack is going to be a Nick Niter. This is a nice one for the Marlins. Now, remember when I said right at the beginning of the stream, I showed you my very quick, like, here's my six teams I would target? In breaks, and I said, Don't sleep on the Marlins. And there's a Marlins auto. Nick Neidert, a nice pitching prospect for the Marlins. So that one is going to Mr. C. Mike Smith. Nice auto there. So Nick Neidert. Then we have, get him up in the card garden here. All right. Um, that wasn't allowed to happen. Um, okay, so here we go. Randy Johnson Legacy. Like the Randy Johnson card there. That's also going to the Diamondbacks. So that's going to C. Mike Smith. So C. Mike Smith is on tear. And we have a Mike Trout winning ticket. Love this card. That is a sweet looking card. That is going to Mr. Captain John. So Captain John, congratulations on the Trout winning ticket. Now if we could get on a winning team, I love my Angels, but man, we get Mike Trout in the playoffs already. It just, it needs to happen. All right, then we have a Nate Pearson future star for the Blue Jays. Nate Pearson, one of their big pitching prospects. Big time. 
So an eight pierce and future star. And finally, a legendary Sandy Koufax for the Dodgers. That's going to Nick. So Nick is cleaning up in that Dodgers spot. He's got Dodgers rookies, Dodgers Hall of Famers, and everything in between. A nice Sandy Koufax legendary insert there. And we go to pack number four. Yeah, I did it. You know, we did not hit. Oh, we did hit the Mike Trout in the first gallery box. Okay, so here we, in fact, we hit two of them. Okay, so here we go. Ronald Acuna Jr. What I want to see is a Spencer Torkelson. That's what I want to see. So there's Ronald Acuna Jr. Then we've got. George Springer, Trey Turner, Devers, Snell, Scherzer, Whit Merrifield, Xander Bogarts, Garrett Cole, Kyle Hendricks, Kyle Hendricks Purple. We've not pulled that. We pulled so Kyle Hendricks back to back. So there's a Kyle Hendricks Purple. Then we have, for the Dodgers, uh, Mookie Betts, purple. Nice one there, Mookie. And you guys are going to beat me on the top loader game. I'm going to have to get more. So there's a nice Mookie Betts purple. And then we have Amastakis, purple, purple. And our auto for this pack is going to be for the Pirates. It is a Pablo Reyes. Let's look up Pablo here real quick. Um, Pablo Reyes, outfielder. I believe, was he... What, what draft was he? So what I love is... Let's see, hold on. Pablo... Oh, ooh. There, there we go. I believe he was 15th overall. Um, Dominican professional baseball infielder and outfielder in... It's not going to tell me. It does not say. It does not say. Um, it does not say when he was drafted. But Pablo Reyes. There we go. That is going to be our fourth auto in this box. And that is going to... Our Pirates owner, Mr. Isaac Flores. So congratulations, Isaac. And we continue on, and we have a very nice one, a C.J. Abrams potential insert. Abrams was, what, sixth pick in 2019. See, by next year at this time, I will know all of the order of the 2020 draft picks. Right now, I don't know it, but trust me, by the time we get to Bowman Draft, we're going to know all these real well. This is the first one. This is where you learn. That way, by the time Bowman draft hits, you already know all of these. Um, all right. So then we have Raphael Devers, winning ticket. Nice one there for the Red Sox. And we have a Cal Ripken legacy. Going to the Orioles. That's going to Mark. So we got Mark's name on the board with the Cal Ripken legacy. And a Tyler Soderstrom. Very nice for Oakland. First rounder. Good, good pick by the Athletics. This is going to Jared. That's a very nice card right there. Um Soderstrom is, I need to buy, I, I need to buy, James is saying he needs to buy a whole box of this. Um, that is a fun, they are fun boxes. Still looking for Spencer though. So here we go, pack number five. Pack number five. Now the other neat thing, these boxes are not terribly expensive. Um, and so we'll see, I mean, and they give you quite a, quite a lot of cards so it's kind of a nice 
kind of a nice break. The cards are of good quality. I mean, overall, a very nice set. Fun set to open. Nice cards in it. Lots of autos. Um, kind of the c contenders is a known brand. Eugenio Suarez, Mike Miner, Lucas Giolito, Polanco, DeGrom, Betts, Mustakis, Muncie, Nolan Arenado, Tim Anderson, Muncie Purple, Of the Muncie purple for the Dodgers. That's going to Nick. Nick has been cleaning up on that Dodger spot. We've got a purple Nolan Arenado. So the match, the jersey match, Nolan Arenado. And give me one second. I got to turn around and grab more top loaders. You guys beat me on the top loader game today. So let's see. We've got, there's a lot of top loaders. You, you should see the trash below me. There's a lot of trash. Um, all right, there we go. So we've got Nolan Arenado, purple, going to the Rockies. He's got the Rockies, Mr. Isaac Flores. All right, and then we have a Tim Anderson, purple. And finally, our auto here is going to be a Jordan Walker on-card auto draft pick ticket. So let's see. So let's see. Jordan Walker. Let's find out. We're going to go. Jordan Walker is with the St. Louis Cardinals and was the 21st pick overall in the 2020 draft. So we're talking about the Cardinals first round pick. This is going to Mr. Brian Fenster. 21st pick overall first round pick. Nice little auto there. And the good news is, so let's see, let's take a look at our auto so far. We've got one batter, two batter, and three pitchers. So we've got two batters, three pitchers on the autos. So we'll see how that shakes out. And then for the Yankees, how about a Jason Dominguez? So we've pulled two Jason Dominguez. This is the future star insert. So this is going to Terry as well. So Terry pulls down a Jason Dominguez in his first break with us. So nice one there. Terry, hold this back. We'll put Dominguez right in the middle. How about that? Then we have one of my favorite players of all time, a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. legendary. So this is while he was on the Expos. So this will go to the Nationals. So this is going to Teresa. And a Bo Bichette winning ticket, shortstop, I like these winning ticket ones. So nice one there for James. So James, we end up getting you three Boba Shets. All right. So another nice bow there. And the card garden continues to grow. All right. So we've got bow. And finally, last card in that pack is a Jacob deGrom game day insert. And our last pack of the break. Hold on. Well, let's do some last pack mojo. A little rally monkey action. See what we can pull out of here. So we'll let the rally monkey give us a late inning rally and see if we can pull some sort of some sort of awesome out of here. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Jose Barrios. Jose Ramirez. Mr. Aaron Judge. We'll give We'll give Aaron a sleeve. Another bow. Burn it. <laughs> we have, yeah, that was three bows. Shalani's, Shalani's so mad. No Kyle Lewis's. We're not done yet. There's a Kyle Seeger. Brian Reynolds. Mr. Zach Granke. 
Anthony Rizzo, Pete Alonzo, Joey Gallo, Mr. Mike Soroka, Luis Castillo, Purple. So there's one thing I'm going to say. that There's a lot of, like all of these season tickets, there are no rookies in all of them. And it's kind of like, you kind of wish they would have put maybe a couple rookies in here, but I get why they didn't. Uh, Manny Machado, purple, and a nice Anthony Rendon, purple. And our final auto of the night, 16 autos later, is going to be a Cade Cavale draft pick ticket on card auto. Sweet looking auto there. Um, Cade Cavale, and I believe, who did he end up going to? He was, uh, Cade Cavale, he went to, where did he go? He went to the Nationals, that is right. So this is a Nationals auto going to Teresa. He was the 22nd pick overall. So Cade Cavale. Going to Teresa, so Teresa ends up with a nice little, nice little break as well. So Cade Cavale, 22nd pick overall in the 2020 draft. And for the Rockies, there he is, a Zach Veen. A nice one there for the Rockies. That is a beautiful first rounder card. Going to Isaac, Zach Veen, a very good prospect. This is one of the, as you start looking at the prospects that are coming out of the draft, Zach Veen is one of the highly, highly touted ones. So a very nice one there. We also have a game day, Frankie Lindor. And then for the Nationals, we also have a Luis Garcia. And our final card of the break is going to be a nice one. It is a Future Stars, Ryan Mountcastle, going to the Orioles. Mr. Mark J waits till the very last one to get Ryan Mountcastle, who was called up in 2020, and go look at his stats he lit the league on fire. Had he played a full season, he probably would have been in strong consideration for Rookie of the Year based upon the numbers he was putting up. He, I think he will still be eligible to be a rookie next year and will probably be the front runner to win it. Um, Ryan Mountcastle also has always been a highly rated prospect, so a very nice Ryan Mountcastle there for Mr. Mark J, first-time breaker with us as well. So... Thank you for everyone that got into the break. Let me get this cleaned up here a little bit. We'll go through the hits that we got in this box of contenders. And then we'll talk real quick about how we'll figure out next week with update. So, here's our hits from here. Let's go through them real quick and see what we ended up with. Quite a lot. The card garden grew real fast there at the end. Okay, so here's what we end up with in the contenders. Future stars, Ryan Mountcastle. Nice one there. Zach Veen, first rounder. Nolan Arenado, purple. Cal Ripken, legacy. Mookie Betts, purple. Sandy Koufax, legendary. Nate Pearson, future star. Future star, Joey Bart. Emerson Hancock, first rounder. Pete Crow Armstrong, first rounder. Tariq Skubal, up and coming. Bo Bichette, winning ticket. Jason Dominguez, future star. Mike Trout, winning ticket. First rounder, Tyler Soderstrom. Uh, Anthony K, auto rookie ticket. Luis Robert, potential insert. Nick Neidert. Contenders Auto, Pablo Reyes, Contenders Auto, 
draft pick ticket auto for Cade Cavalli. Jordan Walker draft pick ticket on card auto. The Max Scherzer red parallel numbered 35 out of 99. And a Garrett Crochet. This is going to be the blue parallel auto number two out of 99. And the mystery of Joe iPhone continues as he shows up late in the break when we're about done. But I get it. I know where you were at, Joe. I know where you were at. So, Shalaney ends up not getting any Kyle Lewis's out of those two boxes. I am sorry, Shalaney. Um, but maybe I'll find a Kyle Lewis and send it your way anyways. So, thank you again for everyone that got into the break. So, here's what we're going to be doing for next week. Like I said, uh, jumbo boxes. I might do a jumbo plus a hobby just to mix it up to see what the difference between the hobby and the jumbo hobby are. But, yes, we will be doing update uh, I think it comes out on Friday, so maybe we do it next Friday. Um, there's going to be a gazillion people opening it up next Friday, so I might actually delay it till Sunday. Um, I, I'm not the biggest fan of breaking on Sunday nights, though. Um, but um, so it might be Friday, but we but there will definitely be a ton. Um, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway on some of those tops rip cards um, and maybe giving one of them like opening one. And then maybe giving away a tops rip card to it depends on if they show up. Um, if they don't show up, I can't do it. So we'll see. I need to see if they if they ship it. If they get it shipped here in the next couple of days, we can do that because I think that will be fun. But um, if it's not that, I'll probably do a giveaway somewhere um, for tops update. It should be fun. A very highly anticipated product. Um, I will be doing my card review on it. Um, so we'll see where it lands on the one cent sensational set ranking. Um, and if you go back to the very beginning of this video, you will see a very truncated version of my Panini Contenders one. Um, I'm really mad at Panini for not releasing that checklist until like late last night. So it just was one of those things where you go, I need time to be able to make those things. And then today was busy. So um, with that being said, guys, we are running up on midnight. Um, I do want to say thank you again to all of you guys who were hanging out. Um, and for all of you that got into the break, you have a ton of different options that you can choose from. So hanging out with me for a little bit, I do appreciate that a lot. And Mark and to Terry, our first time breakers, thank you both for getting in. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. We will definitely be doing it again next week. So until then, um, I hope you guys are all having fantastic luck on your personal pack polls. And as always, please be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors. Hope you all have a great Halloween. Be safe. Um, if you're driving around, be drive a little bit slower in your neighborhood. Uh, lots of nuts kids high on a bunch of sugar running around, not paying attention. So um, just drive a little bit slower on Halloween. If you're going out, uh, be safe, wear masks, do all that fun stuff. Um, don't, don't, don't drink and drive. It's a dumb weekend to get pulled over for drinking and driving. But most of all, have fun with Halloween, guys. If you're carving pumpkins with your family or going out and drinking with friends, whatever you're doing, be safe, have fun with it. And until next time, guys, 